I'm George. And I'm Bob. We're the Shipping Goblins from Beetle and Grimms. Today, we're going to talk about the amazing Map Vault Collection. And with the Map Vault Collection, you get a bunch of gorgeous two-sided maps, all scaled for standard minis. Yeah, get yours now for the Map Vault Collection from Beetle and Grimm, and all the players at your table will be revved up and hyper because the only thing they'll be able to say is... <laughs> yeah, 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 go ahead and do it. Zorn! Oh, do it again! Zorn! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Who do you think you are? Oh, yes, Mr. Millen. Oh, yes, sir. You oh, we, it's your like thing. Oh, com right completely. We just thought. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm gonna take this right yeah, to yes, Beetle. Thank you, sir. What happened? Uh, Matthew Lillard watches our show! And we are on. It's go, people. It's go time. Right. So, wow, we're here. This is this is a bit strange. As you can see, um, <laughs> welcome to Band of Badgers. Um, I'm Dave. I'm your games master for this campaign, which is, of course, the uh, the absolutely legendary Rise of the Rune Lords from Peso. And these are our players. Um, hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Hi. hello. Oh. Fantastic. So, oh, we've got some lag already. Fantastic. <laughs> We're hitting that straight off. It's going to be a wild ride now. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, our little kind of OBS overlay. Uh, we've got our uh, character names and their classes and uh, their ancestry. Um, and our guest, we have Paul Shapiro with us from uh, Beetle and Grimms. Hello again, hey, Paul. Paul. Yeah. Hey, um, Hello. Now, as you know, Beetle and Grimm's uh, have sponsored this campaign. Um, so again, uh, as always, a very, very special thank you to Beetle and Grimm. But we also have our other supporters as well. Um, now, many of them have also given us special discounts and they've allowed us to pass those on to you. So in the box below me, it currently says, well, it might say currently Beetle and Grimm's, but that will change, hopefully, if this thing that I've done works. Um, if not, it will just be Beetle and Grimm and you won't get any 10% discounts. But please do go and check them out. Um, it's a ton of stuff. They've been uh, A few of them have been our new supporters. Some of them have been with supporters when we started our lockdown campaigns. Um, it's a crazy world out there at the moment. Um, so if you're out there, please be safe, be happy, and uh, just game on, really. Um, now, Beetle and Grimm are here. The, the, you can tell this isn't rehearsed. The, the, uh, the Beetle and Grimm are doing a Kickstarter for the uh, Character Chronicles journals. So this was gonna start um, maybe the end of September, early October, we're still kind of uh, working out what the dates are gonna be. But halfway through the session, we'll have a and a with Paul. So between, he's got an hour and a half to find out all the answers. So let's... Uh, <laughs> Google so, is your friend. <laughs> yeah, Google is always your friend, um, especially today, Paul. Now, for those of you who have uh, seen our previous campaigns, or either on Twitch or YouTube, or have recently joined us and you just kind of plugged in and see what we're about, um, yes, we're, we're in the UK, we're in lockdown, and we've got a variety of guests coming. But we normally have, um, we normally do a giveaway. So you know, that's the usual thing. We, uh, we do a, a selection with uh, Eldritch Foundry. But this time we've gone a little bit, uh, one step further. So this time we have a bundle. We have a bundle of goodies, including a Beetle and Grimm's t-shirt. It's not going to be this one. You will get a clean one direct from Beetle and Grimm. <laughs> you will get... See, there you go. You will get a, a Peso pocketbook edition of any book. Now, they, there's a bit of a terms and conditions with that. If you're in North America, you get the book. If you're anywhere else on the planet, you will get the PDF. Um, but it's really a pocket edition. So that's, that's also in there. We've also got the Eldritch Foundry Custom Mini. So basically, you'll be able to uh, go to their website, create your own uh, hero, your mini. Uh, they've got some fast, fantastic designs at the moment, um, including uh, like chains, which actually move, movable weapons, they're very, very good. Um, so you'll get your own custom mini. We'll also have 
Um, a £10 gift voucher for the Gaming Emporium, uh, which is owned and run by Ed, is, is in the UK, but he's willing to do international shipping. We also have... Wow, it's getting hot in here already. I have not been able to cope with this. So, <laughs> we also have, from our friends at Dungeon Fog, who are... Uh, we've got uh, special codes which will give you uh, 30 days premium access. You, we, so we're going to be giving those out during the show. Um, plus, Dungeon Fog, you'll see them below, they're offering 10% off of any annual subscription that you want to go. And it's fantastic online map making software. Um, we've used it in our other campaigns. We're going to be doing some sci-fi and some Starfinder Star campaigns later on, so you can always check that out. <sighs> what else is there? Okay, yes, there's more. Wow, this is hard. So, not not only are we going to be playing, and you, and you can watch, but we now have some audience participation going on. So, uh, Maguire, if, if you're out there, Maguire, um, say hi in chat. So, me me and uh, Maguire had a had a sit down chat. We, we were talking for ages, and we kind of kind of spitballing some uh, um, some some ideas around, and we're about how we can make this more interactive for for you, for everyone for you. So we, we didn't just come up with one, we come up with two. So what we're going to do in the first half of this adventure, and again, you'll see things in the box below um, when, when, it, when it comes up, then you can have a go. And you'll see things in live chat. So just keep one eye on, on live chat and you'll be fine. The first half of this adventure, you will get to vote on what our heroes, what our band of badgers, will, are going to do when we come back after the, after the break. You have a choice of two side missions. It's the uh, Desecrated Vault or the Monsters in the Closet. Now, for those of you who know Rune Lords, who know the story, please, no spoilers. Let them find out. Let the audience find out as well. Um, and if you know what one is and you don't know what the other one is, we'll vote for that one. During the, the half-time break, uh, we'll tally those up. And when we come back, um, we're not going anywhere. We'll be doing a QA and a with Paul anyway. But... After that, when it all wraps up um, and we pick a winner, when we come back to the story, we will uh, go on that mission. Now, here comes the second part. In the second part of this episode, uh, we are going to be picking what uh, the race, uh, sorry, the ancestry, it's so easy to do, uh, the class, the weapons, the accent, uh, as Matt Lillard will be joining us in an episode in a few weeks' time. So we're going to let you, the audience, decide one aspect of his character each and every week until he turns up. So a lot of peer pressure. Um, other than that, we hope that everyone's having fun. Everyone's going to enjoy it. We're not going to take it too seriously. We've done a, a lot of homework converting this huge beast into second edition. So we hope you like it. Um, there'll probably be aspects of it that you don't like because we're cramming... You know, like, you know those kind of big six or eight hour sessions into three hours. So it will be quick and we're going to cut and paste as we need to. Um, and just while we're doing that, I'm just looking over into the chat channel. Who can I see? Uh, oh, Michaela. Yep, yeah, thank you for your help earlier today. And yes, uh, Matthew's uh, accents are, just, I don't know. Is it, is it the same voice? His dialect's just, I don't know. The regional bits, the Scottish, Irish, Welsh thing that he does. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do the I, same if, thing. if you're if you're if you're gonna vote for an accent for Matt, you might want to pick two or three because he kind of floats around between them. So you may want to <laughs> maybe we'll pick the top of, three. And we'll of, find out. Yeah, there you go. Who else we got? We've got session zero. Ryan from New York. Thank you for joining us. And um, you, your so uh, Ryan, he's um, he's got a clothing company. Some fantastic designs. Check out, he's got a baby owlbear thing that he calls the Cublet, and it's got a D20, but with a zero on it. It is absolutely fantastic. You'll see um, at the, in the box below me, you'll see some details there. Um, so check out the website. Um, if, he's, if he's already set up the 10% off, that should be ready to go. Um, if not, sorry, Ryan, surprise, um, 10% off. Um, and fantastic, he's got, he's got a really cool Minotaur one. Looks like a Chicago Bulls, but it's a Minotaur. Um, and he's got a Dungeon Master one with so his lich thing. Fantastic. Who else have we got? Gannon Goblin, Theo, Theo and Grady. Thank you very much. We saw your video today. Thank you very much out for the shout out. Uh, we, you, you are one of the guests. You've seen the list. Um, we're really looking forward to having you on the show. Absolutely fantastic. Um, love your videos. 
Um, he's very excited. We, again, Theo, we had a, like a, 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 an hour, just over an hour chat, and we just talked about games and miniatures and stories and what, you know, just, and then we just, um, he is such a really kind of down to earth, normal guy. Um, absolute pleasure to talk to. We were just talking about life and, you know, lockdown and where we both live and the color of the sky, because it's, it's not blue where he is. It's a, a shade of brown. Um, so lo lots of stuff going on over there. Who else we got? There's Disco. Disco's one of ours. I can't see all the names in the list, but we shall keep shouting out as much as we can. Uh, if I've spoken to you recently, do, do a shout out and we'll kind of, uh, oh, he's blushing. <laughs> no worries. Um, and if you're doing that, we will we'll check out what's it. But anyway, are we ready? Is there anything left to do? Play? Uh, yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> hot. <laughs> I don't know. It's stuck in. Um, right. What, 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 what? Let me, um, I, I've got, I've got so many screens. Let me bring this over there Ooh. because, um, yeah, yeah. Moving. so map. my players can see the map um, the audience in Twitch can't right now, but I've got some uh, minis on the screen and I put up a screen for them to kind of, for them to kind of see and look out, but, um, uh, you'll see it in a minute. You'll be fine. Um, right, so anyway, that, that is the Magdalena. That's not, that's not, there we go. Right, so here we go. Cool. What we need is that kind of big intro animation sequence, but you know, we're working on something, we'll get there. <laughs> <sighs> there you go. No expense paired from Beedle and Grimm. <laughs> Cheers, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Hand puppets, always a good idea. <laughs> So, as I mentioned, that we've done a lot of work converting this. So, um, if you're a big fan, I hope I haven't d destroyed it. I hope this isn't a Star Wars prequel uh, trilogy thing. Um, anyway, so or sequel. Is everybody ready? Is everybody ready to begin? Yes. Everyone got your dice. Yes. You got your pens and paper. You got your snacks. Yes. Your chocolates. Your drinks. Yep. 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 Yeah. He's got his. Just got his fancy. Yeah, fancy mouth dice. Okay, so here we go. This is so exciting. I hope you don't roll off free. Have we right. got any Werther's Originals? No, we don't need <laughs> yeah, Werther's <rough> Originals. <laughs> <laughs> right, here that we go. That is not canon. So, <laughs> <laughs> it, it is can now. Be. It can be. We, we have the power now. This is, we're converting for, uh, first edition to second edition. This is, we, we can do whatever we want, man. Let's do it. So, <sighs> I have to, my heart is pounding. This is really tricky. Right. So this campaign begins in a world called Galorian. More specifically, in a collection of places often referred to as the Saga Lands. Now, our story starts in Verissia, which consists of a sprawling mix of forested mountains, lush green lands, verdant forests, and sprawling swamps. I've got some sound. It'll, it will kick in away, won't I don't know. Anyway, it's the year 4707, during the age of the Lost Omens. Today is the most glorious of days, with a gentle breeze and clear skies as we drift over some clear blue seas. You've got to imagine a drone cam. Uh, as it looks up to... Uh, a very quaint uh, harbourside small coastal town of Sandpoint. From there, we glide past uh, the boat, which is already docked, called the Magdalena. And just as we do, we hear a voice. I just dropped the keys again! Oh well. Now, if you don't know what that means, you have to watch the session zero. It's coming on YouTube this weekend. Haha. <laughs> but anyway, so from there, we glide across the buildings and rooftops, and although one in particular looks as though a small copper-coloured dragon is actually perched on top of the roof itself. This is the Rusty Dragon Inn, and a place where all kinds of adventures, uh, sorry, adventurers come to meet. They share their stories, they have a flag and a veil or two, but this is where our story will begin. So. 
everyone apart from Paul. Let's just make that clear. Everyone apart from Paul. You're in the Rusty Dragon. Amiko is tending bar, and just in front of the main door, just to the right hand side, is a big round table. Big enough for eight, eight people. Um, and there's five of you. Bafana is busy in going running from table to table. And you can, as you look around the, this very quaint, well kept inn, if within that point, um, you can see lots of different types of people. Different races, shapes and sizes. Many have uh, very ornate weapons all over their, their bodies. Some are tattooed, some are obviously sailors. Some have traveled from uh, very far and distant lands. However, outside, you start to hear um, some screaming. If I can get it to work. So, when we was here last time, you heard explosions and screaming. By your window table, you see people start running past. They seem to be uh, screaming and hurt and tripping over and falling over themselves. From the bar, two big burly guys step up. One's covered in tattoos all down his left arm. And they go through the, the, the little kind of portway door and they look out. You sort of watch them as people still keep running past the window. One of the guys sees everything that's going on, looks up the street and just legs it past the window. He's running with the crowd. The other guy comes in and he's looking around the pub and he makes an announcement of there's smoke, there's, I can see flames, there's, there's loads of screaming. I think it's coming from the church. I don't know what's going on. I think it's coming from the church. And you can see he's kind of, for such a big guy, he's turning a little bit pale. Amiko behind the bar suddenly stops what she's doing. She rings the bell. It seems to, a few people know what that ring means. She then goes up to the furthest to the, to the bar where you are, so she can see your table, and she calls out to Harrison. Quick, yes. I've got this for you. And she reaches up above the bar and pulls down your rapier, and she throws it to you. What do you oh, do? thank you. Thank you. I pick up the rapier and uh, brandish it in the air. To battle! And uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I storm off outside. Um, Will you be wanting some help, brother? Well, yes, let's all go. Come on. <laughs> this sounds like it could be fun. Elena, you in? Uh, yeah, it does sound good. Let's uh, let's go check it out. Might be able to help. Um, maybe not. I think we should <laughs> run with the others. And remember what the sheriff said. <laughs> Come stay on, you're up. You could stick with me. Yeah, I stay, stay with me, right. Master Up. We'll, we'll we'll be okay. We'll be okay. And whilst everybody's distracted, I'm just gonna you know make sure everybody's glasses on the table are nicely lined up and spaced equally across the bar and stuff like that. And do I'll, you, I'll do jump you really down off my stone here. So I've got, there's always time for tidiness. <laughs> Arrest her. We need to go. Yes, Fire. yes, of course, yes. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take off our foot. Master Up with me. Come on. Okay, yeah, coming. <laughs> Let's go. Head out the door and start running. Yep. Actually, no, head out the door. What who's can we who's see? first out the door? Uh, or I, I, well, I've probably <laughs> just yeah, ran out. Yeah, probably be Harrison, wouldn't it? <laughs> I've, uh, I've just uh, followed, 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 followed by off. me, of course. So Harrison's first. Yeah, then charging Marcus, out yes? with my rapier. Yep. Okay, so as soon as you step outside the door, uh, you're, you can smell the burning, you can see the ash uh, flying past you. There, you can feel the heat as well coming from one side. People are still running past. These are, we've just been in the middle of the Swallowtail Festival. So as you know, that the fate is still going right outside the church, which seems to be where the direction where everyone is running from. People are carrying their babies. They're trying to hurry past. You can see uh, men, women, and even children have blood or burn marks on their clothing as they're running past. What do you wish to do? Do you wish to go left? Or are you going to go right? Are you going go to go towards where they're the running danger. to or where they're running go, from? Go Run to. towards where people are running from. Which yes. direction is the church in? To the right. Yeah. 
and, that's it, and that's the direction that people are running away from, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. Yep. Exit stage right then. It's, uh, Har it, it seems our troubles in San Point are not at an end, and uh, there seems to be maybe some sort of attack at the church. Um, church cursed. You mentioned the last one burned down. It did. I will say oh. as we're running. But your doorknob. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> your mum's doorknob. <laughs> we must save the doorknobs, Prof. Yes, that's, that's correct, Master Rupp. My my mother, she she cast the, uh, the the brass doorknob on the on the new cathedral. We must save it. And um, let, let let's go. Come on, I, I think I know a shortcut. Must um, be lucky. <laughs> we'll, we'll try and head. Uh, I'll try and lead them down a parallel alleyway if I can. Yeah. Um, so we we try and find a path of least resistance, so we're not running directly at people who are, who are running away. Okay. Right, so you run down the, you run down one of the, uh, as you said, the parallel lanes. Uh, you're now taking the lead on this. So right at the end, you see um, uh, a small child and a goblin. I'll bring up a screen so what he looks like. A goblin is trying to attack this poor little child, um, but not having much luck because the. The, the the little boy has his little yap yap dog, his little own little handbag dog, <laughs> and the boy is saying, "Petal, petal, no, stay away!" But the goblin is adamantly trying to stick it with a very very sharp stick. What do you wish to do? How far away are we from from the kid? Mm. Uh, Elias mm -hmm. is about thirty foot away, and you're still running, so you're still moving towards it. What do you wish to do? Yeah. I'm I'm charging straight on with uh, my rapier, yeah. Um, and yeah, I draw my axes and carry on as well. Okay, okay I'm, so I'm gonna Harrison. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop, and if I'm within thirty feet, I'm gonna cast uh, the cantrip ghost sound, um, and just make the general sound of of uh, sort of people running who would be wearing armor, sort of a clanky. Uh, mm -hmm metallic rubbing against each other sound uh, and then I'll, I'll shout at the top of my voice look out city guard attack that goblin and I'm going to try and attempt an intimidation roll to, to make the goblin um, frightened and hopefully drop the dog and run away okay. so you can weirdly you can, you can uh, hear bits and pieces so you can hear there's more commotion everywhere else you, you cast your spell he doesn't seem that phased at the moment. So, he starts to attack the dog, Petal. Harrison, you got there first. What do you wish to yep. do? Um, I will shout at the goblin um, and, uh, and say, Release that child, you fool! And uh, I will uh, attempt to uh, poke it, uh, not the dog, the uh, the goblin, with my, uh, with my right okay. hand. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I will show you my... My dear. So... <sighs> Um, so I uh, rolled uh, 5 plus 7, so that's uh, 12. You missed. Ah. Oh. Rap. Right. Tolkus, you a second? Um, yes, Tolkus is... Tolkus is going to scratch his head and wonder why the goblin is attacking the dog and not the boy. Well, the dog is in front of the boy. Um, mm. and, but uh, it's a small dog, isn't it? With what's called a dog slicer. Yeah, it's just a yap yap. It's effectively a chihuahua type thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and I will position myself in between the dog and the goblin in a defensive stance, but I won't attack the goblin yet. Okay. So you're in position. Right. Now, what I wanted to do is to get everyone in position first. So you kind of let you have a, a, a kind of first throw attempt. Now we can roll initiative for it, okay? Okay. Go for it. A perception-based oh, initiative. Rubbish. Yep. So. It's not terrible. Okay, let's go around the table. Elias. 16. 16. Ooh. I will turn the screens down because I might get... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was right. starting to freak out then. It sounded yeah, like Harrison. it was in the room. Uh, 21. 21? Mm -hmm. Cool. 15 plus 6. Okay, Yelena. 10. 
Ten. Yeah. Rup. Uh, Twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Missing me. Missed. Tonkus. Is sixteen. Right, we'll put you there then. Okay. Right. Rup, you're first. You've still got the goblin. Tolkas is, is in between this little yap yap dog who now looks like it's defending this six foot something plus extra wide Viking. Is he like in between my boy, legs? <laughs> the little boy is holding, holding on to, uh, to Tolkas's leg. Okay, cool. Uh, Don't offer the boy sweets, Rup. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. You know what happened last time. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my coin and concentrate really hard, just like, dip, <laughs> and just like zap him with like a, a almost like purpley rays with, uh, hopefully make butterflies around his head, and cast days. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that is a fortitude. Uh. No. Sorry. A. Uh. Will save. Yep. And I got a six, so that's no good. Yeah, uh, that's a crit fail, so he is stunned, and it does four damage. Okay. Well done, right. So you just see him kind of boom. And he's got and he's, he's got like butterflies around his head, like. <laughs> the proper cartoon effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Harrison. Uh, I will a attack with my rapier again, hopefully striking better time. Uh, that is a 16 plus 7, so uh, 23. Yep, that hits. Go for it. Okay, so d6 of damage. So you, 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 you parry forward, -doom, trying to get the uh, goblin. You can probably hit him now, he's not moving. Yep, so that's uh, 3 points of damage, I believe. There's okay. no uh, add addition to that. Okay. Tolkus. Um, Come on, let's finish I... this early. Let's go. Can I see any other goblins behind him? Into into the square. Uh, you're not at the square yet, but into the next road. People are still running past. Um, now you're getting a bit comical because you can see goblins chasing after people. Choblin, oh, right, uh, okay. Choblins. Goblins now choblins. have... Um, they've been able to get into the fireworks from the, the festival. So oh, you yeah. can hear fireworks going off as well. And there are just loads of uh, laughing and cackling going on. <laughs> Right, I'll, I'll attempt to hit the um, goblin um, with my axe is and use the... Uh, oh, look, character sheets, people, look. Oh. Um, and use the feet double slice. Go for it. Uh, the first roll is a 24 total. That's yes. for my battle axe. And the second roll is a 16 total. Does that okay. hit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. That's um, that's the hatchet. So it is. Uh, do excuse me for a second. D8 and one D6. This is where one realizes. Oh, yeah, my dice aren't in the right order. So he takes. Uh, 17 points of damage total. Wow. Okay, well, you're going to kill this one, so what would you like to do? <laughs> um, I come down his chest with the battle axe, which does a big slice like that, sort of like, you know, diagonal, and then the hatchet comes across his belly, creating a flap in which all his innards just suddenly fall out of. You, you have done this in front of a miner. Um, yeah. just... He can't see. He's 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 on my leg and he's buried in his face, isn't he? <laughs> okay, right. So now you've dispatched this goblin. You suddenly take a moment to kind of put your hand uh, hand down behind the child, pat him on the head. Uh, the dog, the little dog Petal, kind of runs up to his leg, and the boy just cradles this dog and says, "Thank you, Petal. Thank you, Petal." Um, you then get a chance to look and take in. So the current road, as I mentioned, you got. Uh, goblins setting buildings on fire, smashing windows. Every now and then there's someone laying on the floor and a goblin is happily stabbing them to death. So what I tell... To so Tolkos tells the boy, asks the boy if he think, can you get home safely, boy? 
I don't think anyone's going to get home safely. No, Talk maybe you should stick with us then. I, I say to him, um, stick with us and stick close. Okay. And yeah, then... I, 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 can get, I can I can hold onto your back. Yeah, you can get in my backpack if you want. It's just big enough. I can carry him. It's fine. It's even a little like pocket a on the side for, for his dog. Yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, so, so you let the boy kind of climb up as you do a you do a piggyback, and mm -hmm. then the dog kind of goes into a into a pocket. So you're going to kind of look after him, okay? Yeah, and then I say, and then I point at all the <laughs> other goblins and say, "People are dying. We must help." We we need to get to the church. We need to get to the church. There's there's probably a bigger crowd there than than in the streets, and uh, well, if if that's where they're attacking, then that will be where their main force is. You know, there's make... important people at the church, the mayor, the sheriff, you know. Let, let's make haste. And uh, Harrison runs Harrison, off. wasn't your brother meant to be making a speech? <laughs> yes. Where is your brother? Was that, at the, uh, was that at the church? Well, that's a good question. Well, we were supposed to be to the rusty, rusty dragon, think, but... Uh... Think on the way, think on the way. Stop me. Run please. and think, <laughs> Harrison, <laughs> run and <laughs> think. Too busy, okay. for, too busy so, for thinking. What are you doing, everyone? Moving towards I'm charging. the church. I'll I'll take the lead again and, and yeah. try and uh, try and find parallel. Um, well, this road will take you straight to the church. Well, let's just go. Yeah, we'll just go yeah. straight down here. Then. Okay, so you lead up to the church again. You can see uh, goblins running past. Uh, they're getting more sparse, but you can kind of um, as you get closer to the church square, um, there's uh, lots of bigger flames, and you can kind of hear. It's almost like you can hear drum beats. On the air at some point is 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 a bit strange of what's actually going on and um, you get to the big kind of cathedral square area where the fate was earlier most of the tents and the things are actually down now um, and you can see where the stage is 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 not yet on fire but there's sporadic groups of people all over the place Harrison make me a perception check please uh, 13 okay you don't notice anyone in, in the particular crowd. There's just so much go details going on. There were four distinct crowds. Uh, there's one in front of the church, and there's three around the edges. Do you want to split up? Where do you want to go, Tom? I think we should make make way to the top of the stairs. We can uh, we can get a vantage point from the higher ground there, and, and, and maybe spot yeah. who's here and um, well defend the defend the doors if they're going to try and storm the church and burn it down. Yeah. Is Good there, idea, Prof. Are there any of the houses around the square? Is there anywhere we that looks like we could um, give the child to someone for safekeeping, rather there's, than maybe taking a, them into battle? And there are people who are kind of huddled. Um, there are still shops and open ends. There are people hiding behind wagons and just cowering. You actually managed to kind of spot it with some people under the stage. It's just people have panicked. It's an utter chaos. People have obviously trampled one another, you know, just trying to escape. And again, in the in the square itself, there are uh, bodies of men, women, and children. Can I join um, someone under a wagon? <laughs> you can. Come on, Rob. You cannot do that. Come on. I want to go up to one. Uh, Elena will go up to one of the shops and ask if they can take a child in. Okay. So you go uh, up to the tokens goes with her. Okay, yeah. so you're both going together. So you're going off. Rob's going to go under a, uh, a wagon. No, so <laughs> for, uh, we, we're in the square though, right? You're uh, in the square. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there, there's people under. I'm guessing. Under yeah. there. Yeah. Um, do we see any evidence of the assailants of these dead people? I'm guessing. No. They're not here. The, right. Some of them, some of them still are. There, there's still goblins attacking them. It's just there's four batches, as as you can see. So which, oh right, oh which so we can see goblins. Yeah, yeah, I'll go for the first one. I can see. Okay, so the nearest ones were when you came into the into into the square itself from the road. Mm. You had one up by the cathedral doors, the steps, and you had yeah. three around the edges. Uh, the closest so, one, whichever okay. I, I go, yeah. Into the crowd. Yeah. Okay. Right. 
What we're going to try and do is swap over to the uh, other camera so that we can uh, see what's going on. Um, if that works. Oh, look. Loads of stuff going on. Boom. There we go. Now, if this works, it probably won't, but we'll give it a try. We can see we're using a. Uh, if anyone uh, knows the Peso uh, flip maps, this is the, the PDF version. And we've got it on a screen, and we're using the Pathfinder pawns. So it's going. To, it, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but we're just going to use it for for measuring purposes, really. So you've got one, two, two, and two. For now, right. you won't be able to see them all until we move the camera around. Okay, so we're going to focus here. This one, that's you, Rob. That's not Goblin. That's Rob. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, Paul, can you make a perception check for me, please? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's see. Oh, okay, you're Shepsie. in now. Uh, a 18. Oh, perfect. Good roll. Okay. Good roll. Strong one. You managed to see, from your vantage point, you are on the right-hand side uh, of where the church is. Okay, so that's your placement. I will put. Uh, I will put you. There you are. Hello. There's, there's there's Alden. Oh yeah. Okay. Sharp looking. Uh, you are just on the right hand side. You've got another group of people there. You are fending off um, uh, a goblin on top of a dog. Just trying to protect. The goblin's on top of the dog, or I'm on top of the dog. Uh, the the <laughs> goblin. Well, you can be on top of the dog if you want. You might be under the dog in a minute. But um, so the goblin is on top of the dog. He's a slightly different color to the other goblins, and you're trying to protect the people who are behind you. You've got your cane, um, and we'll leave really, we'll really leave at that. But you notice that someone, um, this group of people who have come in from the from the southern road, um, and one looks like Harrison, your brother. Um, as soon as I see that, I, I'll, I'll, I will, I'll call to him. Harrison, Harrison, is that you? Alden, Alden, hello. What's happened to Raxon? But it doesn't matter now. Let's go. Let's get to Alden. Make yourself useful. <laughs> Make yourself useful and come here. Uh, I run over to uh, to Alden. Uh... Uh, yeah, there you are. Yep. Alden, so, what the, what the earth time. is going on? Oh, you look better to see that game. Yeah. Well, I mean, what does it look like? <laughs> what Goblin, happened here? Take, uh, do something about them. <laughs> Make yourself useful. Uh, Get your so servants I... to join us. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. No, no servants with me. <laughs> they, uh, the, the other group. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you said there's a goblin there, uh, Dave. Yeah. So what you can't see is there is the goblin on the dog. <laughs> Goblin on the dog. Okay. It's a goblin so dog. I, goblin dog. Okay. Harrison, there's a goblin on a dog. <laughs> well, uh, whatever Unacceptable. happens in this, uh, I, I, I attack the uh, the goblin on the dog um, with my rapier. And, yeah. uh, uh, one sec. One sec. One sec. Um, Alden, can you yep. uh, roll your initiative for me, please? Yes. Uh, that's a. Uh, 14. Okay. Okay, Harrison, go for it. Okay, so that's a 6 plus 7, so that is, uh, math is failing, 13. Failed. You missed. Okay. I'm too distracted by Alden. Mm, definitely. <laughs> it must be the, the new clothes he's wearing. He looks more dapper than you do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I will uh, attempt to strike again with my rapier, uh, if possible. Uh, go ahead. If you've got enough action for that, yes. Okay, no, I, I don't, uh, right. because I already okay. moved up to Alden. So, now it's my turn, as everyone's, uh, everyone's sorted. So, while we've got the camera on you guys, let's kind of roll with that. Um, oh... Okay, that's just an instant hit. Okay, Alden, the, the dog uh, rears up, 
and uh, you can see it's it's kind of like a hairless dog, but there are boils and blisters all over it, all over its, its shoulder, down its hind leg, and over its its more and its back of its back of its skull. It's a bits of flaky skin is pulling off as well, but it rears up and it goes to bite you. But it's a success. So this is six, seven, eight, nine points of damage. Oof. Oof. It leaps up, grabs hold of your arm, and we're just rah, 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 rah. it's pulling you around. Brother. Oh, Harrison, I told you to make yourself useful. I'm sorry, I, I'm distracted by the goblin on the, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, oh my god. Right, Such okay. a novel thing to see, he's distracted. <laughs> Don't get these in my Yeah, okay. Um, we should be in a circus. From your vantage position, let's see if we can rotate that. There we go. Um, the other side, this is a kind of a tent in there from the left over from the fate. You've moved over to a crowd of people in this area, and you can see two, well, you can see one goblin. I'll let you see the other one as well. Um, right. There. What do you wish to do? Um, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. I meant that they're attacking you. <laughs> ah, okay. Not the crowd of people around me. No. Well, they're attacking you and the crowd. They're just going to. Okay. They're tearing can into I, the crowd. Can I. Um... I will. Did I see uh, Harrison charge up towards uh, Alden? Oh, so. Look at that. Right. Sorry, I was pushing buttons. Sorry. Did 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 I see uh, Harrison charge up towards Alden? Yes, you did. He ran straight uh, past him. Right. Um, I think I might try and weasel my way through the crowd and try and get to them. Okay, go for it. Uh, you so make a, you're trying to make a stealth check and get past. Yeah, unmoved. sure. Go for it. Uh, that's a 22. Yeah, fine. You manage to, so while the goblins are attacking the crowd, you manage to weave through their legs, being so mm -hmm. small, um, and evading the goblins. But people did get hit around you. Okay. <laughs> um... And then... Uh, be handing out a lot of sweeties, Rob. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think that's... Uh, there, there are people injured around me, I'm guessing, as well. There's people all over the, all over the floor, yeah. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to... Seeing that Alden's quite useful, I'm going to take uh, take a sweetie and throw it at him. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to cast heal. <laughs> With two actions points, so that what, you can... what do you say exactly when you throw him, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not suck on this, then it's fine. <laughs> uh, you get ten hit points. Uh, oh. Harrison, your servants are useful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he brings me sweets. <laughs> right, the others are all out of range. Elena. Um. I am uh, make, making my way here. towards the shop yeah. to try and get someone to take this child away before it dies. Yeah. So you can see I, people I, in, through the windows in this shop by the side here. You're just by yeah. the side there. Uh, so that's Tolkus, that's Elena. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was just thinking, how tall are goblins? Uh, about three foot. Yeah, because the kid's currently six foot four in the air. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's I'm not sure that he'd back. get hit. But they yeah. might have arrows. <laughs> they might have arrows, it's a very good point, yeah. Um, so I'm going to bang on the door and see if I can get them to open up and convince them to take the child. Okay, so you bang, on, can... a, you bang yeah. on the door. Can you take a child? It's not ours. We don't want it to <laughs> die. Also, it's got a dog. Ten gold pieces. <laughs> We're not selling the child. <laughs> so during another way during combat, you're trying to sell a child. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna. No. Am I after you, Lena, Dave? Sorry. In the order, initiative order. Uh, well no, we Yelena's last. So then we restart. Oh, okay. And it'll be the second combat round. Okay. So there's no answer from the door. You can see people are in there. You know, they're hiding behind mm -hmm. the sofa. You're probably thinking they're trying to sell another child to me. <laughs> I've got enough hands. children already. Yeah. Does the door? Can I try the door? Does the door open? Yes, it does. Okay. 
that's something I should, probably should have tried first. Um, I'm going <laughs> to open the door. I can't reach the child, you're too tall. So I will open the door in readiness for Tox's turn and I'll look at the child and go, in here, in here, you'll, uh, you'll be a bit safer in You in might here. be able to jump out, you know. As a reaction to Yelena opening the door, I swing the kid off my top of my head and and sort of bowling ball him across the floor into the shop. <laughs> Along with the dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think the dog was in his pocket, wasn't it? It wasn't in my, my pocket, was it? He was in your pocket. Oh, so okay. You've still, you've still got the dog. If you, if you, That's if right, you he can stay in my dog, pocket. Still got the dog. It'd be all right in my pocket. Okay. Get the, the child in there, close the door, turn around. That That's probably everything I can do. Okay. So you, but you're, you're not going in the building, you're staying on the outside of the no, building. No, I'm staying, I was just dropping the child. Yeah, boom, and then the closing the door. Yes. Right. So you put your backs up against the door, you get a, yep. now a good view of the, the market square here, and you can see more uh, more goblins in those areas. Uh, you manage to see Rupp uh, get, get halfway across the square and throw in something over to what looks to be Harrison, and a very well-dressed man. <laughs> Does well, the very handsome man. man look like Harrison? Maybe. They're, they're Better set, look. From this distance, you know, there's, there's, they're very kind of sharp cheekbones. Uh, the, the family trait do seem to... Uh, where have I seen that before? No, I look, so look, and then I look up at Tolkien and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's Alden. Right. <laughs> okay, end of, the, end of the first round. <laughs> right, second round. Here we go. Let's try and get it serious now. Rub. Here we go. Again. Okay. Yeah. Um, Hit them with sweet you're, you're, you're about there in the middle of a... Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, right. Cool. Can't do a lot. Um, do okay. I'm going to look at one of the glins and make a uh, scary face at that, at him. Yeah. And I'm going to cast fear. And you say, you're a very naughty boy. <laughs> Is this is this to the goblins on on your left or is the on my left? On yeah, the, the the ones attacking the crowds. So, okay. um, we'll save, please. No, got a ten. Okay, he is frightened too, um, which means that he gets minus two to pretty much everything, um, and he's frightened. Okay. Um, and then I <laughs> will. Say to everyone, get over here! They're killing people. <laughs> um, and I'll uh, cast guidance on Harrison. Okay. What does that give him, by the way? With guidance. Uh, so plus one to this next hit. Okay. You make a note of that, please, Harrison. Yep. Right. Because well, you don't need to because you're up next. Yep. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Convenient. <laughs> that that uh, helps sometimes. So um, I will uh, use my feet, Bon Mott, which uh, is launching an insightful quip at a foe, distracting them. Actually, no, he's already frightened, so there's probably no point. So um, I'm just going to... Um, uh, so the goblin's frightened that's on a dog, right? No, there's one of the ones, the other ones. Ah, that's okay, right. so yeah. I will be doing a Bon Mott at uh, the goblin on a dog, and I will be shouting at him... Uh, Get a load of this, you pox-faced degenerate! It's something shiny. Catch your attention, or you always this aloof. And I, uh, I and uh, I, it's That's basically one hand of a battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you've and, written uh, that down. Yeah, that, that's, uh, a, a, that's a, a generated one. There we go. Um, and uh, I roll a diplomacy check against the target's will DC. So I rolled a 17 plus. Uh, diplomacy is. Uh, plus five, so it is a twenty-two. You have to well, your will DC has to be higher, higher than twenty-two. Yeah. Can't see where this is going. Mm, uh, no six. Okay. <laughs> so uh, basically, you um, are very well distracted, and you uh, get a minus two on a uh, perception and will saves. Okay, so that's a minus two. Okay, would you like to do anything else? Um, I think I can attack again. Do you uh, have enough actions on that? Um, 
I think Bon Mot is, bon Mot is a uh, free action potentially, but. Oh, by the way, what we uh, we we forget this every time we play, but um, everyone has a hero point, um, and a hero point you can have three, a maximum of three, and we reward those for uh, good storytelling, um, completely bravado stuff, or whatever we just find funny. Really, um, you have a maximum of three. You will lose them all at the end of the end of, end of the session, so you get one in the next session. So use them. And it will allow you to re-roll any d20, okay? Probably would have been cool. used to tell Harrison that before. Yeah, okay. yeah the, the first attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so it is an action, and that, that kind of... Uh, have I have no free actions left, so I will be um, just, yeah, staring angrily at the dog, okay. uh, the, uh, the, the goblin on dog. Talk us. Um, are there any goblins near me and Yelena? Yeah, you can um, look, you can see where they are moving across. They've got access to there's people here um, who have not yet moved on, so you can see them. I you can't, can't see, them. see there us. There we go. One of them should be kicking and screaming. All right, okay. Are they within a single action walking distance of twenty five? Yeah. Okay, so right, I shall... 5, 10, 15, 20, I'll get you there. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, so I'll stand in front of them, if yeah. I can, so I can get both of them, if if, if I ever got the opportunity. Oh, that's um, it. And I shall attack the one on the left. Yep, this one. With a double the, slice. The trans ones. Go ahead. Yeah. Right. Uh, that is 18 plus 9, which is going right, to be here, I'm hits. sure. Go and it. 11 plus 9 for the second one. So that's Battle Axe and um, yeah. Hatchet again. Which, which one's frightened, by the way? Uh, that one was. He's got minus 2 to AC. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, it, it, I, it, I hit them both. Uh, I hit one. Any, I'm only attacking one at the moment. Because you... Double Slice is attacking one. Yeah. Um, and I've only got those two actions anyway. So I can't do anything else after this. So I've just rolled um, damage. So I've got... 18 damage. Right. Now, your first hit severs the head of the first one. <laughs> oh, nice. You follow through with the hatchet attack. What was the damage on the second hit? Um, it was... Uh, four plus... Two. Yeah, six damage. Okay. And that one goes down as well. Yay. Decapitating goblin for fun. To get rid of. Well, I, yeah, I guess they're only like uh, low-level things, aren't they? I suppose. So are you. Alder nods approvingly, though. <laughs> Nicely done. Elias, you're up. Is that me in the centre there? No. There's you. So you've come up from the road. Okay, so to my right is Harrison and his uh, and his brother. Yep. Uh, just Ruff. typical. It's just it just doesn't quite go high enough on the uh, the crane camera. So Rupp directly in front of me, Yelena and Torcus to my left. So. Yep. Um, Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm more than thirty feet away from more than Harrison at the moment, aren't I? Yes. Uh, so I'll, well, I'll move over. Yeah. You got your scores in the way, so yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll move up towards Rupp, please. Okay. That's 15. Um, can, I, can I see any goblins anywhere? You can. So what you can't see on this kind of camera view is all the goblins up by the church. So that's the, that's the stand. That's a, that's a podium where they were doing speeches at the fair. This is the church and the church entryway steps. And you can see there are people hiding under the, uh, hiding under the podium, uh, the stand, and the goblins are trying to set it on fire and poke them with their sharp sticks. Okay, I'll, I'll cast message at Yelena um, and say, uh, con converge on Harrison and his brother. We need, we need to form a... A unit and, and try and take them goblins down and they're trying to set fire to the t to the church. 
Um, I'll then shout the same message to Rupp and um, Talker, so I stood next to me, uh, and then I'll move again, so I'm stood next to Harrison and his brother, please. I was listening to the song, so... <laughs> the goblins have started singing. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've won already. It's he's, just he's not good enough. Yeah, pretty, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> right, what was the last bit saying? When I sliced them all to pieces. So, I've messaged Yelena um, to, to say to converge on Harrison and, and his brother. I've shouted the same thing at Torcus and um, Rupp, and then I'll move over to Harrison and his brother, myself. Uh, and you already moved a little bit. You can, how much more can you move? I can move again because I'm stride action. So, so five ten. I just use two of my actions to stride. So I'll be another twenty five feet. I can move. There you go. He gets you there. So sort of next to them. Zoom. How's that? Lovely. Perfect. Thank you. Sure. There we go. Right. Next up is Alden. There you go. Uh, I will. Um... Uh, seeing that my brother has brought some of the servants and uh, they seem to be doing a good job, uh, there's a there's a goblin and a dog in front of me still, correct? There is, yes. Yeah, right. it's a bit hard I, to uh, see, but yeah, there is a goblin on top. Right. Well, I'll let me. I'll show. I'll show my brother how it's how it's done. I'll I'll draw my rapier out of my out of my out of my walking stick. Shh. Yeah. And I will. Uh, Stab it directly at the goblin. Okay. This is going to Go be good. Uh, with a masterful stroke of an eleven. <laughs> you miss. You overcompensate and and you miss with the rapier. I say, Harrison, you weren't worth the sweet. <laughs> 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 Wait a second. <laughs> oh, Fox Gloves uh, Brothers at it again. I will. I will take a uh, uh, a second attack at a at a minus and see if I can hit this goblin just to Go show ahead. everybody off. Go for it. Uh, with exactly the same result. No. Oh. <laughs> Harrison. You, good you miss gracious. Just as spectacularly. Okay. Obviously, yeah. Everson's putting him off now. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm smiling, I'll, grinning. I'll, I'll, I'll take a step behind Harrison and say, Harrison, finish this. That's fine. Right, the other goblins, you notice, have, start, have seen you, and they all start to move down. Uh, I'll point to the goblins and tell us, hey, goblins! That's perfectly fine. Uh, <laughs> thought he's pressed. not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Not an action to whimper. Got working eyes. And the no, it's free action, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> the goblin dog goes for um, uh, goes for Harrison. Ben, so it should. Yeah, sixteen. Does not hit. Does not hit. Wow. Okay, so the dog it... rears up and uh, tries to take a bite out, but you managed to pull your hand out uh, just in time. I flick it away. You have experience in these things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was uh, in, a, in a cage with a tiger. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Yelena. Um, I would like to, uh, Yelena would like to move, go one move action towards Harrison and his brother. Yep. Uh, does that take me within 30 foot of them? Oh, oh, over there, sorry. Uh, yeah, 20. one, two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty-five? Yep. Yeah. So, okay, and then I will use two actions, and she will raise her staff up and it will start crackling with electricity and point it at the goblin in front of um, Alden and cast That's electric... his brother, that's Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> I think you about can, casting can... at Harrison, but he was buying the drinks, so I move. Cast okay. at the goblin on the door. <laughs> Yep, go you for could it. Make it jump off Harrison and hit the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they you need to roll a reflex save. What do I need to beat? Um, you need to beat a 16. Okay, I got 14. 
I, I still, I still lost. Yeah, we're at 14. 14. Okay, so, that wasn't very good. Um, you take, they both take four points of um, damage. Oh, okay. Electric damage as it jumps from the goblin onto the dog. It shoots out from the star. Okay. Four, four. Wow. So Harrison, this is how it's done. You see hey, the, the lightning just, just zzz, and you see the goblin on top of the dog just as it's trying to trying to hold <laughs> desperately trying to hold on to the dog. Um, the dog did not like that though. Can't think why. Smoky hair. Right. Okay. End of round two. Start round three. Rup, you're up, followed by Harrison. Ah, uh, I see the goblins coming towards me. <laughs> yep. You got four of them coming towards you now. Um, and I, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm probably gonna run behind Alden. Uh, okay. if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then cast Days on the, uh, on the goblin, on the dog. Okay, go for it. Uh, so we'll save again. Yeah. Ooh, I got a two. He's stunned one. Uh, and he takes four damage. Four damage, wow. Okay, well, he's stunned. He falls off the dog and <laughs> cracks his head open on the uh, on the concrete. Does not get back up. Well, he's, one of, he's one of the weak ones. He's not got many hit points at all. Okay. Well done. Rob got a kill. I did it! <laughs> Rob, go Rob. Harrison. Good one, Rob. Nice one, Rup. Yeah. Useful. <laughs> Harrison, you're up. Uh, I uh, I say to Alden, watch me make Swiss cheese, and uh, I I poke it again with my rapier. Um, Could uh, you not continue fighting instead? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is a twelve plus seven, so that's a nineteen. Um, so yeah, yep. Yeah, um, yes. Do I still get the plus one rub, or is that now over? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, well, no, I don't need it anyway, so. Yeah. So, uh... uh... How rude. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would have been on your previous one. Harry. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, fine. So... I, I, but I didn't... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so D6 of damage plus my strength, which I forgot last time, because uh, it's... Uh, so, 10 points damage in total. So that's the first attack, and I will take another attack for the second attack with a minus one, like my brother did. Uh, so that is uh, 12 with a 13 minus one. So. That's so that again, one. that was that was to hit or damage. Uh, so yeah. 12 for the second hit. For for hit, he Just needed hit. 10 damage on the first one. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the first damage, the first damage was 10 in total. I could be wrong, but I think second attack is minus five and third attack is minus ten. It Unless is. you've got an agile weapon, which I think you have. Yeah, then it's, it's minus four and minus eight. It, it uh, means a cum cumulative minus one. Okay. Right, okay. So, yeah, it's the finesse weapon, so... Um... If you've got an agile weapon, you can knock off one, then two. But... Oh, okay. Uh, don't, don't worry about the second attack, then. Sorry to be a rules lawyer. No, no, I, I need to, yeah, need to learn that one. So, Tolkus, you're up. Followed by um, Elias. Where's the nearest goblins to me? So, you could go a straight line to them. Yeah, that, were they about 20, 25 feet? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, exactly. Yeah, awesome, right. So, I'll do the same thing as did last time, stride up to yeah. them and stand in between them. Yeah, you just completely and... blocked them out as well, look. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> it's a man mountain. I'm, I am fairly big. Um, and then I do uh, double slice again. Okay. Uh, and that is... They're, they're, they're the weak ones, the ones that you Freaking like. Hell, that, that was nearly a natural 20. It is, in fact... My maths is failing now, but it's 14 plus 9 for the first yeah. hit. Yep. And 9 plus 9 for the second, which is 18. Yep. Both hit. You, and that is... You can potentially kill one with each strike. Uh, okay, well, the hatchet hits and does uh, 6 damage. 
Yep, one goes down. And uh, the battle axe hits and does six damage as well. And the other one goes down. Bit of a crap. <laughs> <laughs> Roll two on each dice then. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. They, they, these crazy. ones are so weak. Hmm. Focus the goblin killer. <laughs> goblin slicer. Right, Elias. Um, I'll reach into my coat of many pockets and pull out a small lump of clay, which I'll fashion into a rude and crude likeness of the man standing next to me, Alden Foxglove. I'll then pull out a pin from the lining of my many pocketed coat and stick it through his hand, and then channel some magical energy uh, into that effigy and make um, the rapier that uh, Alden is wielding into a magic weapon. Okay. So, um, I thought that for... was going a totally different direction. Yeah, yeah, you're, 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 <laughs> what are you doing? You're just like, I put out some plasticine. Uh, I'm the secret bad guy. Go. Yeah. Yeah, um, this is one I made earlier. <laughs> so, so, so it, to put maths on it, you get a, a plus one to hit uh, bonus, and uh, you now do two dice damage instead of one. Why are you. What? <laughs> I've got weak one goblins, goblins and you're giving him magical weapons <laughs> just because he's a special guest. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's That's after exactly another. Um... I'm going to haste him in a minute. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Suck up. Okay, right. <laughs> Um, so I, I I have one go left, um, and I'll message Tulkus and say, "Have at them! Come on! Well, I want to get this over and done with." <laughs> and talk. What is this in my head? Or yes, it's in your head. Oh, Tulkus says, "Oh, voices in my head. I've not heard them for a long time." <laughs> and then <laughs> uh, my next go, I'll charge off into some more goblins, obviously. Okay. Right, Alden, you're up. Ah. <laughs> Come on, Alden, do them! Magical guy. So, there's a, there's a, so there's only a dog in front of me now, right? Yep, yep. The rider's fallen off and and deaded. All right. So it's just this grotesque, so, horrible, diseased dog. So I'll I'll sort of elbow Harrison to the side, mm -hmm. <laughs> step forward, <laughs> and say, "Stand aside, little brother." And and I'll uh, and I'll. Thrust, thrust my rapier, uh, my newly magical rapier into this dog. Uh, with a uh, 14. Only Including 14. the bonuses. So it's a plus one, right? Or plus yeah. two, plus one. Plus one. So one. Yes, no, I rolled, uh, I rolled a six plus Ooh. one, seven plus seven, 14. So no. a mere 14. It's unfortunate. It's a mess. You did not hit the dog. I did not hit with my magic weapon. No. Is there anything else you would like to do? Uh. Yeah, I'll I'll step behind Harrison again and say, Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> you just grab him, put, put, put him back in front of you. There you go. <laughs> Wait, but now it's Harrison there. the meat shield. <laughs> and I'll, 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 I'll look at my. I'll, I'll look skeptically at my rapier. It's not me. It's not me. It really is magical. Skeptical. Very skeptical. So, it's the bad guys go, and you can see um, the goblins who have just seen two of their friends be dispatched. For whatever reason, they are not discouraged by this at all, and they both hurry over to Tolkus, uh, probably just to get slaughtered. Both of them are waving torches around, and they just kind of go for your legs and go, Nyah! and try to set Tolkus on fire. Ooh, that's mean. Yeah. Um, um, and... Dave, is that yeah. an action on their part? Is that a, a manipulation action, or is it just yeah. an attack? It's an attack. Oh, right, okay, don't worry. So, that is a 15. You, uh, the miss, unfortunately, my armor class is 18. Okay, well, they, they get a go each. Sorry, my armor um, class no, is 18. that's a 12. No? Okay, so they both miss. Well, they both fail on setting you on fire, basically. Maybe I stamped on the torches as they were yeah. pushing them towards my legs. And then Harrison, 
the uh, the goblin dog, as your brother's quite quaintly just pulled you in front of him to use you as a, a human shield, the dog rears up. <laughs> oh, and... you sneaky devil! Uh, oh, 22. That hits. That's gonna get you. I knew we'd find a use for uh, you eventually. <laughs> that's seven points of damage. Oh, that's takes, my brother. <laughs> takes a takes a little bite for you. Damage sponge. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Well, I'm not down yet, so that's all right. Oh, that's good. Right. Uh, bye guy, bye guy, bye guy. Yelena. Um. Yelena's going to look at Tolkus and go, "Yeah, you can deal with those. You're, you're, <laughs> you've proved you're good at this." Um, and she's going to stay where she is and just do the same thing she did last time. So point her staff at the dog and okay. cast electric arc. So could you make another reflex save, please? I can. Is it? Is it four, what was it before? Was it 15, 16? It's sixteen. Seven. I got nine. Got Still nine. Four. These Ooh. dice are not good. <laughs> no, are you using my cursed set that they're I sent you, though? No. <laughs> um, that would be seven I'm actually points using damage. the, uh, you, you might not be able to see it, but I'm actually using the official uh, Rune Lord ah. dice. See there? Um, they're really, really nice, print. really pretty. Yeah, these will not work for you. <laughs> yeah. If you by DM, guaranteed to not roll good numbers. <laughs> fail numbers, fail numbers. Right. Uh, the dog takes seven points of electricity damage. Oh, okay. With that, the dog finally does keel over um, oh. in the frustrating body there. However, oh. Alden and Harrison, please make a fortitude saving throw, please. Okay. Oops. Against <laughs> uh, against mange. Plus Rabies. five. So that's Rabies. Rabies. twenty-two. You passed. That's a natural one. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> no, hold on. Hero point. Hold on. Hero Double point. Disease. Oh, hero point. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> spoiled it. <laughs> hero point. Hero I'm point and a, and a new d20. Hero I point and a new I apologize for metagaming, but I wasn't about to let Alden drop like that. That's just not fair. <laughs> okay. Hero point, new d20, crit. Oh! Yay! Happy day! <laughs> <Woo -hoo. coughs> okay. The excitement of battling goblin dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so you see now you uh, we've what well, now you've dispatched um, these off um, apart from Tolkus. Um, can we just get in on there? I, I know I'm slacking. <laughs> yeah. He's only killing two at a time. All. You know. Um, you can you, you you see the final two. And you take a moment to look around, the the devastation that's in this town square, and then you realise that um, a lot of the goblins are wandering off now. They seem to be in some kind of retreat. Lots of people are starting to come out of the shops and their hide hideaways and run over to the people who are on, still laying on the ground and trying to help them up and and get them up as much as they can. Um, Tolkus, I'll let you finish these off if you want to. Uh, yeah, I mean. Well, unless they start running. But to be honest, I'd get an attack of opportunity if they started running anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll attack. Same again. Double right slice in it. Right, first one is 10 plus 9, which is 19. Yep. And the second one is 9 plus 9, which is 18. Uh, so, uh, they're dead, if they've got 6 hit points or less. Boom, boom. It was okay. eight and ten. Well done. You can hear the <laughs> you can hear the distant drums uh, fading away into the distance. Lots more people start coming out. The the what's left of the city guard is coming up as well to help as much as they can. Uh, Sheriff Hemlock comes <laughs> over and um, we, they they seem to have they seem to have caught us. Uh, off guard completely. We don't know where they've actually come from. We don't even know how they've got into the town. Um, I don't suppose you have any ideas or you saw something on the way, perhaps? We heard an explosion and then a lot of screaming and running. 
We, yeah, we were having ale and sausages. What even was that dog? <laughs> the, the, the dogs, are, they tend to use diseased animals. Uh, they, they get them, they, they beat them, and they rear them, and, and they uh, most of them tend to be infected. You didn't get bit by them, I take it. Uh, Alden? I, I did, but I shrugged it off. Of oh, course, Alden. Hello, I'm Rap. I just put up my hand and <laughs> with a handshake. Ah, little one. I'm Alden. I'm Harrison's older brother. Good ah. to meet you. Very useful. You're very useful, all of you. Well met. Well met, I say. And Harrison. Harrison, good to see you. Well, Good well, you. well. I, 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 I embrace, I embrace my brother now that, now that we finally uh, have a moment. And Tokus comes up to them both and embraces them both and lifts <laughs> them off the ground. Brothers! <laughs> Alden, I think we have something to talk about, but maybe not this, <laughs> is the, not the time. Uh, uh certainly. You're a, you're a, I'll look at Tolkus. Hey, you're a, you're a big one. Well done. Hello, Alden. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. It's finally. Uh, Harrison didn't mention you in his letters. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, we, we've never met. You're quite big, though. But <laughs> oh, well met. Well met, indeed. Uh, you fight well, just as well as Harrison. <laughs> Don't insult somebody you've just met. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the only insulting thing is Harrison's fighting style. <laughs> <laughs> that we can agree on. No. Uh, I, uh, I, I just, uh, I, I just storm off um, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> he is so tetchy. <laughs> so, uh, well, I, I, I just follow behind him and go, um, pat him on the like, go, um, uh, pat him on the back as much as I can and go like, it's okay, you're, it's okay that you're not as good as them. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me, Rup. You're going the right way for a smack bottom, and I don't know who knows it. Alright, does that make you feel better? As Yelena walks past, you'll just go, remember, he won the uh, the strength competition earlier, so you want to do that. I am the strongest in the group, that I'll have you know. <laughs> so, uh, Tune in is... to episode zero for that one. <laughs> is, is there uh, anything else going on? Is the did you say the the, um, the sheriff was around? Oh, hold on. Oh, Tolkas put his weapons away really quickly if the sheriff is around. Oh, we've just... Alden, we've... what did you see? You alright? What did I see? Good question. What did I see? I was standing up here... Minding my own business, looking for my brother, who was late as usual. Well, he was buying us drinks, so you can't blame him for that. <laughs> it's very kind of him. There you go. Harrison, you should buy me a drink. I'll expect, the next, I'll expect that soon. Uh, I didn't see anything until these goblins came out of nowhere and started attacking. And then you just saw everything. And then I saw, yeah. And then I, and then we defeated them. Handily. Yes, we we defeated the man. Yes, well done, all. Well we, done. We, we've been hearing explosions all, all day, um, and, and we've been thinking it was kids with fireworks. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's been goblins mm. all day long. You know, uh, trying to find their way down. Um, is the, is the sheriff still around? Yep, sheriff Bellow is there. Sheriff Hem Bellow Hemlock. Sh sheriff. Um, have, have, have you patrolled the walls? Is is there any breaches anywhere? Is the, you know, do we know where they've come in? Is the church secure? We um, we haven't found any breaches. As I as I said, we don't have a the front gate. No one come through there. Um, we're a fairly open town, but we have the watch. Um, we're trying to get numbers on the on the roll count at the moment. But if uh, I think uh, some of we're gonna need um, we're gonna need more help. Uh, probably before the night is out, I'd imagine. If you can, um, this is not how we wanted the festivities to end, obviously. But uh, we need to, we need to clear the dead from the streets, and um, is, is anyone we need to injured? prepare this. Well, I think you're. I think it will be uh, 
making people better for the, the best part of the, the evening. You can see Father Xantos has, has got the church open as well. We managed to get a few people into the church. He's protected them there. He's uh, already administering healing. If there's anything you can do, if you're, um, uh, you don't look yeah. like a, a priest. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, I, I can I can do stuff. I, I seem to, I, I think I can heal people. Very well. Oh, he, he can. Did. I saw it. I saw it happen. Remarkable. Very well. Alden, Harrison, you're. Uh, thank you for helping out. This is a bit of an unusual decision for for you two. Lucky you. I guess you was in town. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Terrible, a terrible business. thing to happen on a festival day. Right, Harrison? Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, we uh, we didn't expect this to happen. So what, what, what's what's going on now? Do you, do you need us to do anything more, Sheriff, or uh, is everything secure? Well, for, for those who want to, to help, um, I suggest you do. We'll be cleaning this for the next few hours and then I suggest you uh, you all get some rest. You've uh, you've deserved it. What you did here today, thank you. I don't say thank you that often, but thank you. Thank you, old chap. Not at all. You are welcome. The least we could do, the least we could do to defend the town. So for the next next couple of hours, you you help to clear some of the bodies. Uh, you help to uh, administer to healing to to those who need it. And uh, slowly, uh, the fires and the, the, the destruction is slowly kind of put to a minimal. Uh, because it crawls into night time, um, it's best at, uh, at this point that you get some rest. So you head back to the Rusty Dragon. And Amiko is there. Amiko. And she looks uh, a bit battered, a little bit bloodied, a little bit singed in places. And uh, she's obviously been out there uh, fighting as well. What do you wish to do? I will say to Telkus will say to her, Amigo, I'm glad you are okay. I'm 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 glad you're safe as well. Um, uh, I didn't know what was going to happen there, and and we we had uh, various run-ins with uh, all types of of goblins and and vicious animals and dogs and they mm. just kept singing that vile song and the drums we just kept hearing the drums and they seemed to go crazy for it and then just as soon as they 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 appeared they they disappeared it was um very it was strange. very strange exactly yes um mm. alden i see your your back your room is prepared as and ready as always and uh harrison do you wish me to stow your sword again Oh, yes, yes. Uh, keep the tab going. Okay. Yes, indeed. That drink, Harrison. Now would be a great time. Yes. Uh, uh, Emiko, get the good stuff for Alden. Okay. Oh, very good. Uh, hold on. Well done, brother. We and have much reaches, to catch up on. She reaches under under the bar, and then she's put some, some the good stuff out for you. Um, there's only like, two or three people left in the bar. Um, everyone looks a bit kind of battered and singed. Um, while they're there, and you end up <clears> having <throat> uh, having some uh, free uh, free food and drink. Oh. More sausages. Okay. <laughs> so while you're there, with all this that's been going on, and it's getting late into the night, you suddenly into kind of drinks and stories, and uh, everyone's quite eager to hear the the two Foxglove brothers exchange stories and catch up. Um. But then it gets disrupted by the door flings open and a, a man who uh, resembles uh, Amiko comes in and shouting, so, where's my daughter? Where is she? Have you seen her? Turn around and Amiko! Look at Amiko! Uh, <clears throat> you all right, sir? Can we help you? No, I just want my, where's my daughter? Who is your daughter? Well, I said Amiko. Doesn't that have a clue? Well, I thought you might have been directing a question at the barmaid. Amiko's not the barmaid. She owns the place. Or rather, I do. Right. 
And then Amika comes out to the door. She's got a, a, her apron on, a soup ladle, and she comes out here and uh, she's like, "What? What? 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 What are, what are you doing here?" And uh, he says, well, "We're leaving. We're leaving this town. We're going back to Magnamar." Why might I ask you returning to Magnamar? Well, it's got nothing to do with you. It's not safe here. We're taking. We're going. And he makes a a grab for her arm. And he starts to pull her out towards I'll the door. I'll cast command. Okay. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll I'll stand on the table at this point as I finish the spell and I'll look him square in the eyes and, and shout, release her. Um, and he does. And release the magic and, and the magical command across the bar. And it's a will saving throw. Please. Ooh, I've got 17. Well, you pass then. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't let what? go. <laughs> While that's going on, Tokus goes over to stand in front of the door. Okay, so, so you're they kind can't of blocking, leave. blocking the door, so you oh, can't, yeah. you can't I'll, 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 I'll stand up. I'll say, people, people, sir, let's not get out of hand. We're drinking. Let's talk. Sir, your daughter runs a fine establishment here. Please sit with us. Let us talk. And we can discuss what's go what what this issue is, but no need to grab people, and certainly no need. To fight. I have every right. She is my daughter, and I own this place, and she belongs with me. Who are you to tell me? Sir, she belongs I am to Al herself. Aldern Foxglove. You may have I heard. No, the name. Foxglove. Yes, indeed. And let me assure you, assure you that while what happened today was a travesty, the foxgloves and these fine companions, whoever they are, will will ensure the safety of this town. You have he, nothing he didn't to call fear. Servants this time. <laughs> right. you see, you've grown, you've grown on me. You've grown on me. You're no <laughs> you don't Especially know anything people. of what you're talking about. She comes with me now, and as Elaine, he tries to pull her again, Elaine she. Is grab what? her arm and ask her if she wants to go you can feel her when you grab her arm you can feel her kind of trembling underneath she's obviously trying to hold back an anger and she um she kind of lifts her head up and with the with the soup ladle she hits him <laughs> on the head the soup oh, well. goes so much for diplomacy <laughs> exactly <laughs> over some of his some of his clothing he's obviously uh He's obviously was caught up in some of this, but he's, he's still got his fine, uh, his fine clothes on. And you can see him just erupt red, the anger that seethes out of him. And uh, he starts shouting again as he starts to kind of leave and pulls open the door. Your talk is you're in his way, and he shouts back um, to Amiko. He says, "And you're that's it. I'm gone." You're dead to me, woman, just like your mother. Oh. And he goes to Old. leave past the door. I, I open the door for him, and then as mm -hmm. he's going out, when he's about halfway out, I push the door really hard, so it hits him in the back. Yeah. And makes him do a tumble or something. I'll do an athletics yeah. for you. you... Uh, 17 total. Yeah, I got a 15. So it's uh, it, you hit their kind of back ankle. As he's as he stands out and he does a kind of trip, you push the back leg over, and he just kind of steps forward, lands doof, face down in, on the street outside. I turn um, to everyone else and I say, "I guess the door hit him on the way out." Oh, shame that, isn't it? You can see him though through the window from from your regular table. He's he he stands up all of a kind of tight and tries to bit dusty. Yeah, tries to kind of <laughs> clean himself up, and you can see he's seething. Uh, Yelena, you still. Um, Kind of have hold of uh, Amiko, and you can see that she's she's holding back the tears. Yeah, she's trembling down. with kind of uh, more furious than anything. Mm -hmm. I'll sit her down. So you stay there. I'm gonna go behind the bar, get her a drink, and put that in her hands. And like, are you all right? Do you do you need anything? Do you want to talk? He's clearly no, it's, a dickhead. It's fine. It's. It's fine. It's been building up for a while. It's um, for a month, maybe a year. He's just been 
he's just been permanently angry um, but I've never seen him say and do that before it's um, but hey and she kind of takes in a breath and braves it she goes alright we'll get this uh, we'll get some more sausages out for Tolkus thank you Tolkus thank you Elena Elena um, good, good, Any hit time good hit with a ladle. Yeah, mm. and she uh, she goes back into into the, the, the kitchen terrible. area with the fire. I, I feel sorry for both of you. Uh, any idea where he's gone? Oh, he's he's probably just gone back home. Uh, where where's home? We have a house in Sandpoint. I oh. prefer to live here, but he has a house. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I've gone through something similar, so I might be able to talk him out of it. The anger should stop soon. Okay. Well, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Cooler heads prevail and all that. <clears throat> what, what was this about uh, Magnamar? Why was he going to take you there? You know, we have a... Well, he has a, a second house. In Magnamar. Interesting. So and he we, owns this this tavern. Yes, he um, he owns quite a few of the properties actually. Um, my family are uh, quite quite well done in uh, this establishment uh, in this town. <clears throat> But um, as we say, it's, let us uh, know if you want a hand with him signing over the property to you. I think it's a, a case of um, let, let's wait and see. Let's uh, we'll, we'll sleep on it anyway. Um, what's, um, I'm what's going your to father's name, Amico? Don Blongito. You're gonna have to repeat that. <laughs> uh, Longito. Longito. I think um, I, I think I'm gonna I'm going to call it call it call it a night there, and um, I'm going to turn in. Befana will finish your your food for you, but um, I'll uh, I'll see you in the morning for breakfast. Oh, one more one one more drink before you go. Just if you could just bring me one more drink, that'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, I'm sure that uh, Befana will. will uh, Would you like to, us to, to lock up? You. If you wish, yes, please. Everyone here who you see is, everyone's staying. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. We could go lock the front door now, I guess. Yeah. So you lock up the, the rusty dragon in, and some of you might stay up. Some of you will turn in yeah. into your various rooms. Harrison, you have to get your beauty sleep off the bed with you. Well, uh, I think we have some things to catch up on, me and Alden and yourself. Maybe we should uh, discuss... I, th I think at this point I'd take out a pack of cards as well. Oh. Um, Are you hoping uh, to win another jacket or up? Ah, uh, could do. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so there, we're half, uh, it's half ten uh, in the UK. Um, <laughs> let's, take a, let's take a quick break and get some, uh, get some drinks, get some snacks, and... Uh, back in five. We're going to do for um, for everyone in Twitch. If you have a question for Paul, uh, for Beadle and Grimm in general, uh, let us know. Stick it in the, in the, in the chat, and we can we can ask him in a second. We will also do a uh, a poll for the competition. So stay around for that, and we will also uh, there's the poll for which pathway we're going to take. Um, we'll we'll find what those results are uh, as well after the break when we come back. And to my players, we're not going anywhere. So you can go off, have a cup of tea, or get a cup of tea and come back um, while we uh, crack on with some uh, other bits and pieces. Steve, uh, so cool. Are we, uh, we going to do the keyword uh, for the competition now? So before we go. Oh, yeah, we better do, yeah, cause we better do that because it will kick into the system. So uh, let's, pick on, let's pick on Paul because he's the guest. We need a magic code word, Paul, that... People will put in, you know, the uh, exclamation mark word. Yep. We need one of them. What would you like it to be? Uh, I think it should be um, brothers. 
Nice. Brother. Hurrah! Everyone, so everyone who's in Twitch, if you put that into the chat, it's exclamation brothers. And that will put you in the draw to win the bundle of goodies. And we'll pick that up uh, very, very soon. So, Paul, just as uh, we're talking about, um, as we're talking about Beetle and Grimm and mm -hmm. uh, various things, we're talking about the Kickstarter and the um, character creation journal. Do you know, at this point in time, what classes will be included in the Kickstarter? Let's put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, That's no, far absolutely. Away from uh, so, the way we're doing the Kickstarter, so Pathfinder, as we know, has a long, long list of uh, classes. Yeah. And so uh, we eventually want to do a character chronicle for all of them. But the way we're structuring the Kickstarter right now is we're going to start with the first four classes being wizard, rogue, cleric, and fighter. Okay. So enough to create a good, solid beginning party yeah. uh, to, get, uh, to get started. But as with all Kickstarters, we're planning on having some stretch goals. So if we can get enough enthusiasm right at the beginning to uh, get those numbers up, we will start introducing additional classes uh, and additional class books um, as stretch goals uh, cool. with the idea of, I don't know exactly which ones uh, those will be. Um, I don't know that yet. But, Damn, that's uh, going to be my next question. There'll be at least, there'll be at least uh, depending on how, 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 how big it goes, at least one or more um, additional classes as, as stretch goals. And what we're trying to decide right now is between doing additional core classes or if we want to dip into some of the new classes in the advanced player's guide, in the APG. So um, one of the neat things that is Paizo has been great about is even though they just announced, they just released the APG, they've been giving us permission to use all that material in the character chronicle. So when we talk about character chronicle, we can go into more detail. But all of the all of the information that in the APG, the Advanced Players Guide, uh, for those classes are going to be included in these character chronicles. So for clerics and wizards, it'll be all the new spells uh, and feats that are in the Advanced Players Guide. Cool. Cool. So what's what's the um, I know from from watching uh, the Beetle and Grimm. Uh, Twitch stuff and uh, obviously the drunken mailbags are always fun to watch. The um, uh, for your for the D and D platinum boxes, you always have a design lead, and it's one it's one of you, isn't it, who takes the lead on on each yep. particular box? Yep. Who whose idea was the um, the character journal? And for those you for my players here, they can't see this, but yep. um, for everyone else in Twitch below me is some concept uh, artwork uh, for the character journal itself. Uh, that was sent over by oh, yeah, yeah. so we've got that in. Uh, uh, so, Twitch, you'll see it, but. so this is actually it's a, it's an idea that we've had um, that we've been sort of knocking around for a long time. Uh, the idea of a book that's as much um, you know uh, like a, it's a combination of a character sheet, a journal, and a resource, so that you have all your spells and everything. Hmm. Um, and it really, I mean, Bill was the first one probably to uh, describe it in its current state. Um, and, and as he tells the story, uh, a lot of it actually came from when we started Beetle and Grimm, as you just yourself asked, we started getting a lot of questions about, you know, well, what were some of the adventures of Beetle and Grimm? Can you tell us, you know, what Grimm mm -hmm. did or what Beetle did? And Bill, who played Grimm, started to realize that he wished he had written stuff down uh, and saved it somewhere. Um, and so part of the idea for this, this idea of a character chronicle came from the idea of wouldn't it have been great if, you know, after playing this character for a decade, um, if there had been a way to sort of put those notes and everything on a shelf so yeah. that we could, you know, when we get famous, we can go back and, and reference our... Uh, uh, our yeah, old and your accomplishments and trophies. And stuff. I, I saw that. Uh, I've just looked over at chat, and uh, Bill is in chat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. that was. Yeah. I have to only things up. He didn't yeah. hear the part about being stubborn and thick-headed, did he? <laughs> yeah, pro probably not. <laughs> I hope he didn't. Yeah. I hope he probably he probably That's didn't okay. hear that part. He can watch that it when he goes weird. on YouTube. That'd be fine. We'll, we'll do like a little uh, TikTok on it. 
<laughs> um, cool. But uh, yeah, but the thing that the thing that was always a big a big piece of it for us was in order to really make this useful for players, we wanted it to be more than just you know a journal that you could write stuff in or a character sheet that you could you know mm. put your stats in. We wanted it to be the thing that actually also had all of the rules and the spells associated with that character. And I, that, I like that as well. The the Again, the artwork that's below me at the moment is going is cycling through the character sheet, but um, especially for the wizard, I was quite surprised how much information seems to be there. Um, it's a ridiculous amount. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, is it going to be is the for example for spellcasters, is it going to be bigger, com thicker compared to yeah. a fighter's book? I mean, what's going to yeah. happen? The, the spellcaster books are twice as big as the non-spellcaster books. Wow. Um, because for the wizard chronicle it literally is going to include every wizard spell in the in the player's guide and the advanced player's guide specifically for wizards. So it won't have any cleric spells, it won't have any ranger spells or warlock spells, but it'll have every wizard spell, which it turns out are, they're, all, they're a lot. So <laughs> That's uh, so awesome, yeah. though. That is awesome. Yeah. And, and so one of the things about this, and one of the reasons why it took so long for us to make this happen was we needed a partner that was willing to let us do it. And and Paizo, when we pitched them the idea, were like, that's awesome. We love that idea. Uh, and they gave us access to all of their source material uh, and have been great partners in letting us, you know, put that all into um, a book that you can get. So we're really excited about it. Seeing as Paizo have been so open, um, do you think you'd move on to doing some of the other, other systems, you know, Starfinder? Is that a possibility so, for future? Yeah, absolutely. So our our agreement, our arrangement with with Pathfinder includes both Pathfinder with Paizo as Pathfinder and Starfinder. Uh, we're definitely starting with um, Pathfinder first because it's we know it better. Um, we're closer to it. There's a bigger audience, um, and we've we've been we've we would love to do Starfinder, and I think we probably will. There is a question of like what is in world for Starfinder, right? Hmm. Um, in terms of physical things, but uh, we definitely love the idea of it. So um, we'll probably, once we go through the 16 classes uh, of Pathfinder, we'll most likely move on and and dig into uh, we, to Starfinder. We've got a question from uh, Theo, uh, from the oh. Theo and Grady from Gun and Goblin. Yep. Um, hey guys. Uh, one, of, one of the things they're asking is, what about when they bring out new errata books, new spell components? Is have you kind of devised a way to kind of so when when we've bought the books, we we've got yep. you know we're at level fifteen, the new spells and weapons come out, new magic items or new rules. Can we insert those into that somehow? So what we've done is. Um... We've built the books, and they're big, fat books. They have lots and lots of pages. So there's the printed material, which will be just the player's guide and the APG. But we have a we have a whole s section of area where you can write in additional spells and write in additional materials because that's going to cover both errata and you know new books that may come out after the APG. But it mm. also is going to allow for homebrew and custom. Because there's still gonna as there's still gonna be that, you know, that unique spell that, you know, your DM gives you that you're gonna want to write in. So we definitely have places where you can write all that stuff in, both in the spell book area and then also in the character sheet in terms of your actual spell list uh, and um, <laughs> and prepared spells. So the way we're planning on dealing dealing with that is to allow you to write that material in. What we don't really want, and we don't really want the book to be, is a collection of uh, sheets and things that are slipped in and slipped out, um, and we like we didn't we didn't want it to be a three ring binder. We wanted it to feel like a real a book that you're going to put on your shelf and yeah. you know look back like the like the books. These are all of my character journals, by the way. <laughs> <behind me. laughs> um, yeah. Just on that, because Pathfinder gives you a lot of options when you're designing yeah. your character. Um, was it was it a big challenge to accommodate all of them? And and which class of the four that you've done so far presented the biggest challenge? 
So of the four that we've done, so right, so the wizard clearly is is the the, the most complicated just because of all the spells. Um, we purposely didn't try to tackle the warlock or the sorcerer, the the, the spellcasters that can cast any spell. Um, that's a whole other ball of wax. Um, and the other thing is the character chronicle is really meant to be um, a, something that you bring to the table for playing at the table. We're not, we, we purposely didn't want it to be a character creation guide, right? We still expect you to go back when you're leveling up or when you're, you know, creating a character to use the player's guide and the APG to sort of, you know, dig through and find all of those things. Mm. Uh, the character chronicle is really when you're at the table and you're playing, you want to have access to what does that feat do and what are those spells um, and all that. But we're not going to include ancestry um, and that kind of stuff in in this book, just because that. I mean, then it would just become another player's guide and another APG. Um, and as as when Dave lifts up the the Pathfinder book, you can see how big they are. So the Dave idea is, is to huge. not try to recreate. Uh, you know, the player creation, but instead have something that you can really use at the table and is going to have sort of everything that you need to refer to when you're actually playing. Uh, we, I've just noticed, I think Michaela is still in the chat. So while she's around... Um... I didn't say anything bad about Michaela, by the way. <laughs> no, you didn't, actually. You didn't. <laughs> oh, really? Well, it, it's it's early still, so you know. <laughs> it's still early time for you. You've got to save it for the drunken mailbag. That's fine. Um, it's a case of do we do we know yet when um, the Kickstarter date? We're kind of so we don't have the exact the date right now. We're still targeting the end of September, um, and uh, we're trying to make sure that you know before we start the Kickstarter, the main thing that we're doing is we want to have everything lined up, right? Yeah. So that when we start the Kickstarter, we have all of the information we have you know this the exact specifications of all of the the books and the printing mm -hmm. and all of that we don't want any of that to be uh sort of still up in the air um and we're well well on our way to doing that we have a full we actually just got approval on the wizard book from paizo so paizo looked through our first draft and gave us approval on that so they're really excited about it as well so we have that content ready to go so we're now just working out um, the remaining sort of technical details of, um, you know, how it's going to be printed, uh, and then the Kickstarter, you know, aspects of stretch goals and tiers and all of that, uh, all that wacky stuff. Cool, what else stuff. we can add in if, if we you know if we get more people. That kind well, of that, that that's that was my next question in terms of, yeah. What, what what can we scoop on? What can we what can we, what haven't you sh what can you share with us? You haven't shared with anyone else. <laughs> no. see, this, is where I get, this is where I get in trouble. This is where I get in trouble. That's okay. I, if I, if watching. I, if I, if I, <laughs> yeah. So no, if Michaela's here, she's already gritting her teeth, thinking. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, but uh, so we're still. I don't actually. I don't want to say anything other than we're trying to come up with multiple things to to add in both as stretch goals. So as more people buy these buy these books, the more everybody's gonna get. Mm -hmm. And then specifically also adding in some tiers so that you can get more things. And we're, we're looking into right now, a combination of improvements to the book, but also things that go with it. So things that go with uh, the book. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I've been a fan of, um, I've been a fan of Kickstarter projects for uh, a couple of years now. And it's, um, it is a one, you know, you're still, you're paying in a, you pay the money in advance because you're, you're giving the, the tools away to, um, you know, they need to pay for production value and everything else and artists and designers. And it's a great way to get that done. Um, I think some of it, some of the Kickstarters I've been on, it's a year later. And then suddenly the package turns out, turns up out the blue, but because you supported them, you get those extras, mm -hmm. which you wouldn't normally get on the high street anyway. And it's um, it's been a fantastic. I've, I've I don't know how many now, maybe twenty Kickstarters I've done. But so this is this is the first this is the first time we've ever done a Kickstarter. Yeah. Um, uh, and partly because as a as a licensee of Wizards of the Coast, we weren't you know that wasn't something that that we were even allowed to do. But the thing that we really like about doing a Kickstarter is 
not, I mean, more, I mean, it's nice to get paid up front, but the thing that we really like about it is we get feedback immediately from customers. So we actually know what people want and mm -hmm. it's a great way to really understand what is the appetite in the market for, for these products. Um, and it lets us plan for, you know, you know, the, you know, if we were just to make the book by itself, we'd make it to be a great book. We'd love it, but that would be it. But by, by being able to do it with Kickstarter, we're actually able to say, look, we're going to do this great book, but if you guys really are interested, there's actually all these other things that we can do as well. Uh, and all we need is just to know if you guys are interested. And so getting that feedback, uh, is hugely valuable, valuable for us in terms of being able to do more and build more. Uh, and make the books better and make more books and, and, and do all of that. So we're really excited about it. We just I, love I, the feedback. Yeah, I, I love the fact that you've kind of um, gone into a different direction. You, you know, jumped from D&D, uh, &D, which you got, you know, the, the products you've done from there, and then to go to Pozo as well, because it just opens it up to do so much more. Um, and and I, I love the fact. And I, I'm actually really looking forward to the journals. But when I first spoke to Bill about it, and I was like, yeah, but that's what, that's what I do. I have like a mini folder for each character. There's notes, there's maps, there's handouts, there's things that I've done. There's um, old character sheets from level four and now you're 18. And um, it, sometimes it's nice. You just kind of sit back and remember yeah. <laughs> what you did. And I, I love yeah. that aspect to it. We are gonna, uh, any, last, any last questions from chat? I can see people in there. Oh, yeah. Flaming Hell Badger, is that Charlie? <laughs> I'm afraid so. It is. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> good name. Good name. Yeah. I love that name. That's good. It, 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 it's a spot on description of him, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steve, was there any, but, any last questions that came through? Joe, um, if you're listening, send through. Yes. One, last thing that, one last thing that we're really excited about with the, yeah. with the character chronicle is this is the first time that we're building something specifically for players instead of for the DM, really. Yes. Mm. You know, everything that we've done up to now has been for the DM. Now, hopefully, you know, DMs get their players to chip in and they all go in on it together. And it's not just the DM buying it. But we've what really- for well, That would be time, nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> players, <laughs> you heard it from them first. It yeah. sounds like the ideal thing, uh, Christmas present for the players from the uh, DM. DM. Yeah, it's, it's for, for the players. It's only for us playing them themselves. Sharing is uh, caring. There you go. So, but for us, it's it's a it, we love the idea of being able to create, you know, products that are for players that still have that same you know level of you know sort of quality and luxury that sort of you know the same thing that we put in our platinum editions. Um, that the DM gets to sort of, you know, play with and put on their shelves to have these books for all the players. We're really excited about and think it's going to be a lot of fun just to sort of share it with everybody. Mm. So there was one last question that's just come in oh, yeah. uh, from Gallant Goblin. He was saying, um, are there any plans for a DM planning guide eventually? So, you know, taking the GM mastery part of the CRB um, uh, and putting that into a separate book. You should tweet to wizards and say you guys want that. Yeah. <laughs> and we want no. Beedle and Grim to do it. <laughs> well, that would help. That would help. But uh, yeah, bug them. Bug them. We'd be happy to do it. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm faltering in and out at the moment, if you can, if you can uh, still see me, if I'm still moving. Um, yeah, right. you're, still there, still moving. you're still alive. I can see I'm still you. there. Yeah. I'm moving. Hello. Um, uh, we've got a question from uh, Session Zero Clothing, uh, Ryan in New York. Um, when the Kickstarter launches it at the end of September, but when yep. do we think the, the books will be actually be released? Is there an so, estimate yet, production estimate? Uh, we don't have an estimate yet. That's what we're doing right now. Um, mm -hmm. The goal is uh, for it not to be very long. But um, I think uh, this is where this is where if I say something, whatever I say, Bill will uh, <laughs> will yell at me. Uh, but I, I I think it'll be uh, realistically when the kick so the Kickstarter will go forty five days. When the Kickstarter ends, we'll start production. And my guess at this point is it'll be a couple of months. Is my guess more or less? Um, 
but uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be longer than that. It's not going to be a year. It's not uh, the whole point is to get it out quickly and then do more books. I love the fact that as you were saying that, <laughs> that everyone in Beetle and Grim is like in chat going, careful, careful. <laughs> That's great. Fantastic. It'll be ready on Friday. Everybody will get it on Friday. <laughs> That's perfect. You have Whether a you order or not, Friday. they just we're shipping on Friday. <laughs> just don't say which one. <laughs> there you go. Right, so we are, let's, uh, thank you very much, Paul. That was great. Um, we haven't finished yet, though. We've got a competition to draw, Steve. Uh, yep. If you're ready, I'll go for press it. the button now. Press so if, on. Um, basically, if you put in the chat, <laughs> push the button, um, exclamation brothers, you'll be in with a chance to win. I've got literally one, two, three, four, five screens in front of me. Um, okay, so the winner is because he, you can probably tell from the way he was laughing, um, our one and only Harrison. Fix, fix, fix. What? Oh. Why did Harrison win the competition? <laughs> That's what I, I didn't even get a chance to enter. Should we? Should we do a re-roll? I'm happy to do a re-roll. I'll, I'll let someone else win. <laughs> No, because if one of us wins it, we're going to go, no, just do a re roll again. Yeah, no. Right, I love like how he snuck in there. It's like, oh, is it his own. There we know, go. Blade, Blade, Blade Song, have... you are the winner. Excellent. Blade Song. Blade Song. Well done. Um, so, Blade Song. Ooh, well done, Blade Song. Uh, Ooh, if you mate. would like to whisper to uh, I'm a Good Demon Honest with your email address, please, so we can get in contact and uh, we'll sort out all of the, uh, the loot box. Um, various giveaways we've got in the competition um, and get it over to you. So, congratulations, Blade Song. Cool. Well, well done, done, Blade, Blade Song. Woo! All of those um, I can't remember the list. It was so much stuff. Um, Eldritch yeah, we, Foundry. We've got an Eldritch Foundry custom mini. You've got a Beetle and Grim t shirt. You can pick which one you want. Um, yeah, you've used or unused. Gift vouchers. <laughs> yeah, used or unused. <laughs> um, we've got. There's uh, a Paizo book. There's a Paizo pocket book if you live in North America and if you live anywhere else, it's a PDF. This is, this is starting to feel like the generation game with the yeah. things going Teddy bear, cuddly, cuddly toy, toy, caravan, fridge, microwave, <laughs> um, and also um, Dungeon Fog code as well. So you get uh, 30 days premium access to Dungeon Fog. Um, that's in there as well. So well done, Blade Tong. Uh What else are we doing? I don't know. I've lost we it. Are, we are. <laughs> okay, so the next, next thing is the vote for the, uh, the the path for the second half of our uh, session today. That's right. Um, so at the first whoa, half of the adventure, we asked you to pick what the mission was that the heroes were going to go on next after the break. Um, you had a choice of two options. So the the audience have voted. And the winner Monster is... Monster in the closet. Monster, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. No matter what I could come up with different names, it was always going to be that one. Um, okay, so we're going to go, our heroes are going to go look in a closet. Let's, let's. Yay! <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah. and see what happens then. Okay, so. Um, oh, and so now we're in the second half of the episode. You, If you, if I turn this thing off, so... Um, you'll see below me at the moment it says the Beetle and Grim Captain Chronicles and it will tick through our supporters and things but eventually it will get round to the uh, make a mat thing um, so basically Matt Lillard who's going to be joining us in a few weeks time maybe Bill has told him maybe he hasn't don't know we'll just do it with public pressure maybe <laughs> It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. It's best not, it's best not to tell him anything. <laughs> so basically, each week, um, you, the audience, get to uh, pick an aspect of what Matt's character is going to be. So that means that, that you get to pick uh, and create what his character is. This week, uh, this episode, we are doing uh, the ancestry. What is Matt's race going to be? There's a whole list in there. If you follow the, the poll, I'm going to have a look. Uh, the highest votes w will win. Next week, we'll do class, we'll do weapons, we'll do things like accent, mannerisms, um, anything else, you, I don't know, companion maybe, I don't know, companion animal? Uh, what, you could have like a dog companion, you mean? 
Maybe. We could have something. Maybe. What, you mean oh, like... Oh, I, I don't think you'd want to go there. I, I don't, don't think you'd want to go there either, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, love that. Exactly. Love yeah. that. He's a human, he wears a green shirt and brown trousers, and... <laughs> so, we are... We left... So before the break, um, not that I got a chance to have a cup of tea, but... Elena, that's... Right, you've got, you've got your largest, neat gin. The largest cup I've ever seen. That was crazy. Uh, oh, it's kind of half the size of my head. It's amazing. It's like my sister knew that I drink a lot of tea or something. How do we know if it's not a normal size cup and you're just really tiny? That's a really good point. <laughs> Fair point. I can't actually counteract that. <laughs> no. Yeah. So Sharon's background is like similar to yours, Paul. Yeah, mm. it's totally. Yeah. So, so that she can take things off. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's free day. Yeah, but his, but Paul's looks much better than mine. Yeah. It's classy. It looks very intellectual. Well, you know, when you live in Foxglove Man Manor, you have to. No. Exactly. Oh, oh. There are standards that you've got to live up to. Exactly. <laughs> he went there. Okay. Right. So, we are going to do... Um, I need to uh, move some things around. So, before the break, um, Amika left you downstairs in the tavern and said, you can lock up. Tolkus decided to, uh, to lock up for her and be a bit of a gentleman. But just as you go to lock the door, um, uh, a woman kind of almost barges in through the door. She's got, uh, she's very distraught. She's got tears running down her face. Um, she's holding a baby uh, in her arms and just kind of catching up behind her is the same little boy that you rescued earlier in the day. Um, she goes on to kind of um, say, just please, just, are, are you the ones, um, uh, Aaron, Aaron said that, that you were the ones who, who saved him. Please, I, I, I need your help. I need your help hey, right now. Hey, Yelena, it's the little boy from earlier. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you, you're Where right did you put the home. dog, Tolkus? It's still in my pocket. <laughs> still in my pocket. Oh, I, I get the, I get the dog out of back. my pocket and give it it's, back to the little boy. <laughs> You gave you gave, you would have given the dog back earlier. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm pretty that's sure not I kept why, it out of my pocket. That's not why the boy's crying. That's not why in between, crying. in between slicing open goblins, I think I turfed it out of my pocket. Well, if I not, we've probably yes. been feeding it sausages, so it's probably yeah. quite happy. Ha Harrison says, "Tolkus, is that a dog in your pocket? Are you happy to see me?" Uh, both, brother. <laughs> 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 so, Elena's just going to look at you and just go, "Hmm." No, no, that doesn't mean what you think it is. <clears throat> no. How can we help you, madam? So, she, please, please, it's, 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 it's my husband. He's um, we, I, we just, we just need some help. He's, I. It, it all, it's, it's. Calm down. Look, take, uh, take a seat, my, madam. Take a seat. Okay, you help. You pull out, pull out a chair, and you, you, you help her sit down. Um. No one I'll bothers love. to. Pour her a brandy. No, oh, I, I don't no, go and get, get her a drink. A gin. It worked earlier. <laughs> Tolkus goes and gets her a gin, brings it back, and says, "Have this; it will help." And uh, you can you can see that she's she's kind of cold and clammy. She's got the sweat. She's visibly shaking. She says, there, "There's um, there, it, it it must have just made its way in, in, into the house during during everything that happened today during during the fight and and everything that the my, what, what, my, my boy what Aaron he he said he's he said there's a a monster in the closet and we didn't believe him and he's been having he's been having bad dreams and and he's been crying in in his sleep and and he he keeps calling out and Alagas my husband he he's he said that he was going to just lock him in the room until he kind of grows up and be and be is a man about it and stops crying but tonight he we put him to bed after all of this and we didn't think he would sleep and then he started crying and and then we didn't go to him. He, he 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 said not to go and not to go and see him and so we didn't. And then suddenly, the dog, um, our, our dog Petal, he was he was kept barking and then. And then it stopped. There was, there, there was like a, a shriek. 
and and then the crying became a sh a shrill of cries. So then we we burst we burst into the room, and I I was standing in in the doorway. And on top of my boy here, on top of Aaron, there was there was a goblin biting into his arm. And the dog had a the dog was dead, there was a knife inside its head. And my husband he just he burst into the room, started screaming and shouting and going after the goblin. The goblin he ran into this into the closet and there must have been a hole under under the mat or the rug or something and and the ghast he went in after him and look you, you could see on my boy he's and she pulls up the sleeves you can see bite marks all over the boy's arms you see he, he he was screaming he was trying to he was trying to get the goblin out and the, the next thing i heard was just gurgling his legs were kicking and then he seemed to get pulled more into the hole i just picked up the kids and i just ran i just i just ran here you've got to You've got to help. You've got to help if you can. We we will help you sounds out. Like it this. sounds like it's too late. I think it sounds like it's too late. It sounds like he's he's gone. Uh, maybe, please, but please. It's worth I, checking out. A, a, gob a goblins usually. Um, do I know much about goblins? <laughs> it's the it's the basic thing. Um. You can do a do a. Oh, it's not exactly a society check. Um, Tolkus knows that they be. slice open really nice. <laughs> yes, they do. As in, like Goblin Society, what they do with uh, someone like that if they captured him? Well, I'd imagine he's probably trying to. He's hungry. Right. Okay. That way. But somebody invading his. If he's made like a, a mini hole for himself between the floors or something. Right. Don't worry, fair maiden. And Harrison puts the oh. arm around the lady. <clears throat> Harrison, now is not the time. Uh, we might as well check, though, Alden. Mm. I don't know. I mean, sounds like sounds like the man's been eaten. <laughs> yeah, sure why we might we... as well check. I mean, yeah, but... they might appear in your room and then try and drag you off. Not my room. I just have. I stay in the finest room here at the Rusty Dragon. There's no, there, there are no monsters in that closet. I can assure you. <laughs> Just go. Yes, Alden, I'll lock you away and throw away the key. <laughs> Brother. Well, five. If you, if you, if you all wish to go, happy to go for a stroll. Mm. But uh, I think we should at sure, least I'm check sure it out. Eating. I'm sure he's been eating. My lady, uh, can I ask your name? Yes, if I can find it. Um, my name is Emily. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My name is Emily. Emily. Uh, Emily Barrett. Emily Barrett. Uh, what does please your husband just, look please like? Please just hurry. What's your husband look like? You want a description yeah. as well? <laughs> <laughs> He's about yay yeah, big. Like He's five foot eleven, dark hair, moustache. Good like two eyes. <laughs> Good. Now we know who we're looking for. Killer beard. <laughs> Probably a few bite marks in him now. We it's don't know quite, where quite that was taken. So he, he it, might be still alive, you never know. If it was some kind of portal, it might have uh, still be open. We should go check. Yeah, I agree. Uh, where where will we find your house, Emily? We're, we're just take down the road. There. We're just down the you road. You lead us? I'll, I'll take you there, yeah. Okay. Okay, so she leads you, you out. Um, you go back out into the cold night. You can still see. Um, there's people trying to pick up the pieces of everything that was going on. There were some people out uh, working as late as they can for shops and homes and uh, things like that. So you eventually, um, it doesn't take long. It's literally a couple uh, of minutes of swift walking down the road, and you get to her house. She says, "There's just, it's, it's just, it's just up the stairs, and it's the, the second, uh, the, the, the second big room on the on the left." I'm, I'm gonna. See what else I can I can do. Maybe I can. Um, maybe they're, they're still taking people out the church. I think that might be the the best thing. Yeah, Go to safety you with your boy. Yeah. Go safe. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll go up the stairs first, and um, I will pull out my great axe and have it in my hands, ready, just in case something jumps out, like the boogeyman. Okay. 
<laughs> so you, <laughs> you go, you go. Uh, the floorboards are not exactly quiet. The floorboards are creaking, especially under your weight. Anyway, and you got the the axe out in front of you. I can try and go stealthily if you wish. Uh, yeah, I'm probably making a lot more sound than I need to. It wasn't a, a disastrous failure, but it wasn't great. Yeah, uh, it was total total of ten. Okay. No, no. You hit every creaky step you can on those yep. stairs. Yeah, no, I thought I might. Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, just with the size and weight of you, that, that's perfectly fine. At the top of the stairs, it's not well lit, but you can see that one of the rooms, uh, the first room, the, the candle is still burning. In the second room, um, it looks like there was a, a candle left in there, but it's mostly uh, almost gone. Um, what do you wish to do? And it's Draw the second room we're heading to, isn't it? The second room she asked you to go. Yeah. Yeah, the second big room on on the left. Uh, yeah. Yes. So I'll um tell Gus who would lead the way. Say, come on, Harrison, you come second. You brave like me. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll follow Tolkus with my uh, rapier. Um, just just poking around at things. Uh, just, just and I'll wait a yeah. second. I give you uh, and I and I give him a a, a sweet wrapper. It's lucky. <laughs> lucky who, who are you giving it to? Uh, Tol Tolkus. Oh, thank you, Rob. Uh, um, and I'm gonna cast bit of luck. Um, bit of luck. Yeah, so you get uh, to re-roll a saving throw. Oh, yeah. cool. Thank you. Oh, so you got your hero points. Yeah, um, you so I'll, I'll push the door open with my, my great axe slowly. Yeah. Just go in. Just go in. <laughs> go and so then... Uh, Alden's on the back of the stairs just loudly shouting. This <laughs> and then go, go in. into the room. And okay. So from your vantage is. point... So in the doorway, you see that you see the bed in front of you horizontally. Uh, to the right, you can see the closet. The closet door is open. Laying on the floor is the legs, uh, the body, and the upper, the head and the upper shoulders uh, are look like they're down uh, into a hole. But the body isn't moving. The legs aren't moving. Hmm. So I grab the body by the ankle and pull it backwards. Okay. Uh, as you pull the the body out, there is some resistance, um, but not uh, not not enough to cause you and you, especially you, any any bother. Mm. Uh, as you do, a goblin jumps out. Um, and he's like, ah! and he starts hacking this giant bread knife into the back, bread um, back knife. of the shoulders, into uh, into the dead, into Alagast. Well, I shall uh, talk as we'll hit the goblin. Go for it. Um, and I should do power attack. Ooh. And that is not a natural 20. It is an 8 plus 9 to hit. Uh, 17? That will hit, yeah. Maths, help me. Yes, it's 17. Maths! <laughs> 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 Maths. Oh, sorry for a poll. Math. Yeah, thank you. I, was, I had no idea. What you guys yeah. about. No Calculus. Idea. Uh, no, that's a, just, I'm just shouting out math thing. Yes. Six, which is ten, plus four, which is fourteen damage total. Fourteen damage. Bloody hell, that's pretty good. Well, uh, power attack oh, means that mate. I get to roll You're two. Level one. You're level one. Damage dice. Okay. Right, that was a bigger hit than you should have had. But anyway. <laughs> well, right. you should have checked out the feats, GM. <laughs> uh, yeah. The uh, okay, so he um, he t he takes a hit. He's still he's still alive, but he's he's pretty uh, battered. He makes a feeble attempt to try to hit you back. Uh, Twelve, sixteen. Unfortunately, no. two less than you needed. So he goes to kind of swipe you to where he's on the body. He jumps up. His little legs are on top of the the body. You can see lots of blood is is just seeping into the sh in, into the, his his bed shirt, and he's kind of swinging wildly at the legs. He's screaming at the top of his lungs as well, ah! as he's trying to sort of get you away. But I think I think there's something going misses. up there, Alden. <laughs> so you, you so Alden are rubbish at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> I say, I, I sh as I as I hit him, 
I shout out to the rest of them. There is a goblin here. Come. Of course there is. You mean you haven't killed it yet? <laughs> no, up. he is slippery. I, I, I hear uh, Tolkus uh, shouting out and uh, I head into the room uh, with my rapier. Harrison, be useful. <laughs> yes, brother. Yes, brother. And uh, I, I'm going to... When... Sorry, you go. <laughs> so I was going to say, I'm going to go in and, uh, and uh, attempt to uh, pry the... Uh, 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 well, pry, but also basically poke the, the living hell out of the goblin on the back of the um, the guy, if possible. Death okay. of a thousand needles. You, you squeeze past uh, Tolkus and with your little blade zoom. Go on, go for it. Yep, so that's a 21. Yep. Um, and the 6. So 4 plus 4, 8 points of damage. Oh, okay. So you managed to use the rapier. You... you you kind of squeeze past Tolkis and at, at the, your longest reach that you've got, you manage to zoom and stick it right it in the eye. It could probably go under my legs, if to be honest. <laughs> it probably could, actually. You're so big. Um, you stick it in the eye and you kind of pin it boing, into the wall and it just kind of hangs there limp. Ah, and all the goo and stuff is, is there. What do you wish to do? Elaine is just going to go over to Alden and go, you keep telling Harrison to be helpful. Is uh, he, isn't he normally helpful? He's a little brother. He's a little brother. He's been a pest. Yeah, they, they are a little <laughs> problem, aren't they? I love him. But he's I, a little brother. I run upstairs. And I say, is everyone okay? Yeah, I, I uh, <laughs> Toka says to Rup, Rup, check, check, the, check the father. See if he's still alive or you can help him. Uh, does he look alive? Uh, he is certainly not breathing. Uh... His, his, head and his head and shoulders are still down, so when Tolkus pulled him out by the ankles, it just made the goblin kind of jump out. Okay, uh, I just uh, instinctively cast heal. Okay. Probably. Um... No, I think it's a good call. It's a good call. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Waste uh, of a good sweet. Eleven hit points. Yeah. So, <laughs> Give him uh, the soft worth of originals. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Caramel I chewy. put I put the coin over. Paul, his, Paul probably doesn't know what they are, but put the, put look the it the up coin afterwards, in... Paul. Well, no, we do. We have <laughs> well, uh, you know. What? <laughs> I, I put the coin on his back, and it just kind of glows with a purple light. And okay, it doesn't seem to have any effect. He's still, ah, he's still laying. Um, well, yeah, he's just still laying there. Yelena's gonna make her way up. Um, can she make a medicine check? I mean, I'm assuming he's dead, but she's just got up there. Have I pulled him all the way out the hole now? Uh, if you if you if you want to keep pulling him out, yes. Yeah, I'll pull him do, until but... he comes out. Yeah. Okay, so you pull him out and you kind of roll him onto his back. You notice uh, he's instantly, for the amount of wounds he's got, there his throat has been slit uh, from when he first went in there. Uh, and it uh, almost looks as if his face has been, uh, the skin of his face has been chewed off. Uh, well, I don't think he's still that's alive. Nice. That's, it didn't work. That's not nice. It's not your fault, Rob. You so, can Good attempt, Rob. His wife won't be able to face this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. That's, that's one of his better ones. He's just going to gently slap Harrison around the back of the head for that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong moment. There's, there's a time and a place, and this is neither the time nor the place. Uh, I suppose it's we that, better tell her the bad is news. Is the hole still open in the closet? It is, yes. I think we how, should, big, uh, how big take is that? Look. Yeah, I'm gonna, I was going to say, is it worth going and poking my head in it and having a look around? Um, let, 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 me, let me try something first. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll wander up um, and I'll grab the compass on the end of my beard, flip it open and say the magic word um, so it shines a light out the end of it. And What's I'll, the magic I'll word, Steve? <laughs> Come was on. It was it shining the light out of? Out of the compass. Oh, okay. 
Um, it's a freet. A freet. A freet. A freet. Good word. Um, so I'll, 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 I'll say a freet into the compass and, and use the use the light uh, to shine into the hole to if it reveals anything else. Okay, so you gonna you um, sort of peer over the over the hole. You step past the body, uh, two bodies at the moment. The goblin is still pinned to the wall. Um, you don't you you kind of shine the light down into the area. You can see um, there is a bottom to it. It's some kind of crawl space, just because the way that these buildings were been were you know were constructed. There's an element of crawl space there, um, but no, that's it. There's nothing else that you see. It doesn't appear to be anything down here. Um, I suppose we could climb down and make sure it's closed up. Um, maybe this is this is how the goblins got into the town. Maybe there are more holes like this dotted around. Maybe there are going to be more widows by the morning. Well, I hope not. not. Maybe we should close the hole. Or investigate where it goes to. Maybe we'll go back and finish our drinks. We'll go back and finish our drinks. That is, that is an option. I'm not, I'm not going down any hole. <laughs> I'm not sure I will fit. Okay. I, I, I'm, How big I'm... is the crawl space? Who would fit in there? Uh, I'm, someone I'm willing to someone go down. small. Someone small. I, I'm willing to go down, but... Um, Talker, ski, take this, this rope, and um, one tug means pull me up very quickly, please. Yes, of course, my friend. And the screaming means quicker still. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> screaming means quicker. Um, and I'll, I'll climb down into the hole after tying a tying a piece of rope around me. I like okay. the idea of going back for drinks. <laughs> and you, as you go down, uh, you're you're just in a in a tight crawl space. You you can smell, um, you know, he's he's used it. He, the goblin, when he's found this space, has just used it as a as literally as a hidey hole. It doesn't seem to go anywhere else. There's no uh, other exit. Um, possibly during the raid, he's managed to get into the house uh, looking for easy treasure or easy pickings. And uh, when, it, when the goblin raid was over, potentially he found himself stranded. Mm, he was a straggler. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll climb back out. Well, it looks like it doesn't go anywhere. Maybe he was he was just holed up, and after we'd driven off all these uh, all these companions, his his party mates, he obviously got cut off or something, and decided to hole up here. It doesn't go anywhere. There aren't any others around, so I, I guess here uh, our work is done. We, we've killed the goblin, but unfortunately not not in time to save the husband. Can I suggest we wrap up the husband's body? Yes, it would not out. be good for the wife to see their face. No. No. We'll, 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 we'll tidy up a little bit here and then, then well, head back. Head back. Yeah. As, you, uh, as you start to exit the building, the uh, Sheriff Hemlock turns up with two of the city guard. Uh, both of them, all of them, looked as tired and uh, drained from the, what's been going on for the, for the second half of the day. Um, Sherry says that he bumped into uh, Amelie uh, at the church. She told me what was going on. Uh, I thought I'd better come down and, and see what was on, but I see it. Uh, I hand you, him you the did follow through. <laughs> We've this taken is... care of it again, Sheriff. We've taken care of it again. Yeah, Sheriff hasn't trying... unpinned him yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. still pinned him. He's the standing there goblin. like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just carrying you're it on well, the rapier. I'm well. spinning Gareth, it around. Well. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yes. Well, we, as you know, Mr. Foxglove, we do what we can around here. We're we, we're understaffed and underpaid, as you well know. Um. I'll, I don't uh, know, maybe you're overpaid. Well, <laughs> I possibly. Well, done. Who I knows? Hard to tell. Well, we're going to have to. The guards here will will deal with the the body. They'll take it back to the church. Uh, Father Zantus will 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 deal with that. We've been collecting a load of the dead. If you were, uh, 
I need to, to ask all of you um, a bit of a favor. With the loss of so many town guard, I'm going to have to make a trip to uh, uh, Magnamar and see if I can get some uh, replacements. That means that I'm not going to be around, so I'm going to need you to keep hold of the town. Uh, just keep it tidy, clean, as best you can for me until I get I back. I'll be in a couple rats. of days. <laughs> you are asking us really? to After everything that's trust around? Us this morning. Why do you trust us now? Well, I think you've uh, you've proven yourselves worthy. And um, please, Mr. Rupp, I know you seem to be hard on your luck, but um, please don't be don't be like Mr. Foxglove here, okay? He's what the douchebag. <laughs> well, I was trying to be silent, talkers, but um, yeah. Right, so okay, don't. All be I ask like is that you them. forgive me for drawing my weapon, Sheriff. Uh, I had to to save some of the town folk. That is okay. Brother, brother Alden, should we send him to Foxglove Manor to uh, procure some guards potentially? No. <laughs> okay. No. Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Send him to Magnamar. That's where he was going. Hire some people there. I don't know. Well, you're from Magnamar, aren't you? Can't yes, you Fox Love Manor is in Alden. You, have you had a head wound? Are you okay? I'm fine. You, you saw have him get injured earlier. <laughs> I've handled myself fine. I don't know about the rest. The rest of you, eh, the rest of you are fine too. I have nothing <laughs> bad to say about most of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you make your way back to again, once again, back to the rusty dragon. Um, ah. <laughs> and pour another drink. Audrin, Audrin is back on the good stuff. I, I get out my cards finally. <laughs> okay. So what do, you, what do you wish to do? Sell down for a game of cards, try to relax, and then finally call it a night? Well, I, I'd mm. like to watch the continuing unfolding adventures of uh, Har Harrison Foxglove's family affair. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't actually think that you've revealed yet, have you, Harrison, to your older brother, that now he has two annoying younger brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I I think you'll find that I'm actually uh, Tolkis is actually the oldest brother. Ah! Oh, wait, 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 Harrison. So what do you know about all of this? Well, Please. Alden, I received a mysterious letter from a, a, a yeah. raven. Uh, well, not from a raven. The <laughs> raven delivered it to me. Um, but, uh, how, long is the... this story going... how long is this story going to take, Harrison? <laughs> and, uh... if, if a raven wrote it, it's going to take short... ages. <laughs> the, the short version, bro version. Uh, the short version, the brother, version. is uh, that Tolkus here is our older brother. Um, our our brother. father, our, uh, well, our brother, our father has been uh, quite uh, mischievous. No, you, quite like you mean me. promiscuous. Yes, promiscuous is the word, Tolkus. So, um, yes, well, he is our brother. Half brother. Well, half, half. brother. Yeah, a brother to me, yes. Both and of you. Say, you. And you say, an older, an older, older than, older than you, Harrison. Correct. Yes. And You're yourself. You're younger brother now. Older than than me as well. Yes, our 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 father, Traver, has been quite the. Uh, interesting father he uh, he must have had uh, an interesting journey before yourself before you were both born he traveled i wouldn't call him i wouldn't call him interesting <laughs> i'd call him cruel so talcus your name is the big one here so you're the bastards huh ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, such uh, fruitful words from you uh, yes wow uh, oh. welcome <laughs> To the family, I guess. Is your father uh, still alive? Do not worry. I do not have any uh, ambitions on claiming the foxglove fortunes or whatever it is you say. I merely wanted to meet people I was related to. Well, that's fine. Glad to hear that. Well done. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard you ask if our well. father is alive. Yes, our father yes, is alive. Yes, uh, 
was hoping to meet uh, my <coughs> my real Actually, father at some point. Harrison, your dad is dead. He's been dead yeah. on quite a while. Yeah. Good job, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I you never I, mentioned this in your letters. I think I have had a head wound. I think I need to lay down. <laughs> and, Unfortunately, uh, and, and Harrison takes a candle and goes up to bed. <laughs> oh my god. Death. I need another ale. You do. You do. Fi the finest, the finest. The finest for my... Well, there's, no, there's no staff, they've all gone to bed. No, I go, I go behind the bar. To. There's no I, one yeah, there. I, still, I still call. Even if there's no <laughs> staff, I still call. You just expect people to serve you. Elaine is just going to get the bottle or jug or whatever there you go, and see? put it in front of you. <laughs> Elena, there is, <laughs> Elena, there is rum. That's a good if point. If you want rum, there is I rum. rum. She goes and gets a bottle of rum. Fine. So, well, a toast then. A toast. a toast. Skull. Yes. Uh, killing goblins. Killing <laughs> goblins. And, not and slicing I. goblins. And saving villages. And, and children. And lineage. <laughs> that too. <laughs> mm. Are we, are we I'm sitting really at the same table now, which is really annoying. <laughs> if you want to sit at the same table with us. I, I, I would like to sit at the same table and I'd like to sit in the same seat as well, please. And... and and while this the same seat. The same seat, yeah. yeah. The seat that's equidistant between the doorway and, and the bar. <laughs> so you get some fresh air and easy access to the booze. Um, yeah. And and I'd like to, you know, just, just idle away and, and carve into the tabletop using the, the, the Sigil cantrip, um a, a little symbol um that marks the table and the chair as, as mine. <laughs> you ju you just Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everyone's nicking the Amico's booze. You're you're destroying the, no, the no, furniture. No, no. I leave I leave payment in the bar. I leave payment on the bar for everything I have. I, I, have I, we still got the bag of fifty gold pieces? Yeah, from... I I left yeah. that on the bar from the last fight, so it's still on the table. <laughs> where I left it. It, it, no one has stolen it already. <laughs> My God, a bag of gold pieces! Better leave it there. <laughs> Not mine. Uh, Don't worry, that, uh, Bifana picked that up as soon as you dropped that on the table. That yeah, I got picked up, that's fine. Uh, can I try and fleece anyone for money? <laughs> Always. <laughs> You'd be um, lucky. If we're playing cards for all night, then... <laughs> right, so... Oh, so gladly, I will gladly play cards with you, little one. Tiny, tiny little one. Cool. Uh, <laughs> if, you can hold, if you can hold the cards in your hands... I will uh, play yeah. cards with you. I, I riffle, riffle <laughs> the cards and I, I try and make it look like I don't really know how to shuffle them. Um, uh. <laughs> um, and I just like, you know, fumble about, drop a card here and there and uh, let's play some cards. <laughs> uh, I, I, I see through, I see through your, uh, your, uh, your play acting, but I'll still, I'll, I'll, I'll take my chances. Okay. Um, who else is joining? Anyone? Come, come, all of you. Yeah, yeah go on in, I'll give it a go. join in, but mainly because she wants to see Alden lose. Okay. A any space? Anything? Mm -hmm. I'll put my two silver pieces on the table. <laughs> that I won today. <laughs> Tokas I'll, does not gamble. I'll, I'll put ten gold pieces in the middle. As if it was nothing. Okay. Cool. I'll put a couple of silver in to match up. <laughs> I, I, I'll put a gold in. Okay. Whoa. Should we just do a roll off? High rollers. Jesus. Yeah, go on. Do uh, you want to do a D twenty or a D six? Uh, twenty. Let's do twenty. Go on. Um, Ooh. would you say I'm proficient in this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm proficient I... in games law. Is that? <laughs> uh, you you will be yes. Okay. But I will. I'll, I'll. I'll attempt a sleight of hand during this to see if I can. Okay. If I can yeah. move things around a little Ooh, bit. So I don't yes. know. What is that? Is that? Is that thievery? Thievery. Oh, I'm yeah. guess that would be thievery. Yeah. I'll, I'm gonna do the same. You can do the same. Can I perceive? <laughs> can I perceive their thievery? 
<laughs> yes, you can, yes. Okay, right, let's see. Right. Hulkus so... is just creasing up in the corner. He's absolutely <laughs> laughing his ass off because he can see everything that's going on. Everyone's trying to cheat everyone. Yeah, I'm just, just like... going to use my hero point to re-roll. Because I rolled an 8. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lose it tonight. So... Roll the d20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolling Come a d20. on. Come on. Right, I'm going to re use my halfling luck to re-roll this. No! <laughs> Everybody's got Elias a re-roll. Just got... Elias just that got is a an nat 20. 20. I got a nat oh, 22. No. <laughs> I got a 19. 22? A nat 20 as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, I don't know how you guys decide between those. But, uh... my, my total is a 25, nat 20 plus 5 for thievery. Thievery. Mine is a 26, because I have Ray! plus 3. <laughs> Rupp wins. Oh! Rupp, Rupp somehow just takes the entire pot and drags it towards himself with a very big grin on his face. <laughs> Rupp, you're richer than all of us, I think. Mm -hmm. Breakfast well done, is on Rupp. Rupp. Well done. And I'll, I'll, I'll come over and I'll pat him on the back and I'll <laughs> give him a... A, a, Don't a, pat a him too hard. All the cards will come out of his sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll sit next to him and I'll say that was well done. That, come and, oh, thank, come thank and you, thank you, thank you. Someone who knows, who knows a thing or two about this, that was well done. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll pat him a few times and hmm. uh, sit close to him. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. keep the devious ones close. <laughs> Uh, another another hour passes as you continue to drink and have games and chat and catch up and bits like that. And eventually you all do go back to your rooms. Or to your rooms. Um, for some of you. And the the night seems to pass it uh, uneventful. You've been quite exhausted with everything that's been going on today. And in the morning you are awoken with the smells of breakfast. The sausages, the ham and bacon, more spiced her chili potatoes, and you all make your way downstairs. Apart from more Aldrin, sausages. Apart from Aldrin. Aldrin <sighs> is not there. And Rupp. No, sorry, Aldrin, you're not there. And then uh, Befana comes in. And uh, she comes, she's, she's got a very kind of uh, worried look on her face and she comes straight over to Elias. She says, Elias, this, um, there's a, I think there's a problem with, with, uh, with Amiko. Elias, did you hear that? No, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> I said, there seems to be a, I think there's a problem with Amiko. Uh, what, what, what's, what's the problem? Where is she? I, I, I went into her room because I, I finished breakfast and I she she wasn't up yet so I knocked on her room and I went in and she's she's not there but I uh, I found this note on the floor it was uh, just crumpled. Okay, uh, please please let let me take a look. Okay, here it is. And for everyone who's uh, watching this, uh, let's see if I can get this to uh, work. Yes, no, yes, no, maybe not. Let's try it. There we go. Um, so she hands you the note. St uh, I was going to say Steve. Elias, <laughs> can you read the note, please? I, I, I can, yes. Hello, sis. I hope this letter finds you well and with some free time in your hands because we've got something of a problem. It's to do with father. Seems he might have had something to do with Sandpoint's recent troubles with the goblins, and I didn't want to bring the matter to the authorities because we both know he'd just weasel his way out of it. You've got some Paul here in town, though. If you can meet me at the glassworks at midnight tonight, maybe we can figure out how to make sure he faces the, faces the punishment he deserves. Not twice, and then three times more, and then once more at the delivery entrance, and I'll let you in. In any case... I don't have to impress upon you the delicate nature of this request. If news got out, you know these local roofs would assume that you and I were in on the whole thing too, don't you? They've got no honour at all around these parts. I still don't understand how you can stand to stay here. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this. There are other complications as well, ones I'd rather not. I'd rather talk to you in person about tonight. Don't be late. 
and it's signed Suto. And there we will end uh, this evening's session. It's our no. first session. Nice. How is everyone? How did everyone? Well, it was a bit, you know, again, first session, a bit cranky. We've got a few technical issues regarding the map, but we worked through it. We'll We've get got through technical that. issues, but, you know, first yeah. session. As well as internet things and stuff going on and noises outside and nerves. seagulls and dogs. <laughs> Definitely nerves. But. <laughs> So how how did, so to to my players uh, how did how did you find that was that okay? It was good. You're, you're, you're now you're now officially into the we we kind of worked on sort of uh, play testing various bits and pieces, but you never actually play tested this. Mm -hmm. So um, how did you feel that? Oh, I should uh, point out we mentioned briefly right at the beginning to everyone on Twitch we had um, we've pre-recorded a session zero where. The characters have actually met for the first time um, when they got off the boat. So when they've mentioned a few things that were obviously missed at the very beginning, it's because they were referring to the session zero, and we didn't really explain that that well. But um, we'll be dropping that onto YouTube over the weekend, so you can catch up with that one. Um, and Paul, how did you find being being Alden? Uh, it was. This was a lot of fun. This was great. You guys were great. This was. Uh, Thanks, Paul. Was super fun. Thank, Thank you, Paul. I'll it's say you were you were worth the sweetie in the end. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, of you course I was. <laughs> you you mentioned that Rup, with um in the morning when you're kind of getting through your gear and you make your way downstairs uh, with the morning's events of finding the letter and order not there. You realise that your pack of cards has mysteriously disappeared. <sighs> Ooh, shots fired. So, okay. Please, please remove it from your equipment. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fine. Ooh. I took it upstairs with me, right? That's... Yes, you did. Yeah, okay. Fine. You have got 11 gold, though, so you can buy some more. Yeah, I've got... <laughs> I actually have gold, which is great. You have gold. It's like my bag of gold. That went missing as well. Cool. And everyone, everyone in Twitch, um, again, thank you for kind of uh, <laughs> sticking with it. We had a, a few issues at the start, but again, um, we'd love your feedback. What can we improve? Did the did the voting poll work? Is that interesting? Is that good that you're kind of part of the uh, a little bit of audience participation? Is that good for you? Did it make you feel part of the story that you got to choose? Obviously, it means because we had to pick one mission, potentially we won't be able to go back and do the other one. So you, the, the the heroes may have missed out on some vital clues, <laughs> but that's all. Um, that was your choice, not mine. Nothing to do with me. If you want to TPQ or K, uh, TPK them, that's okay too. You can you can do that. Uh, but we love your feedback. Uh, uh, keep in touch, and I think that's it. I think we are all wrapped up, folks. Uh, thank done? you, Dave. Very thank good. You. Thank, thank you. you, you. Thank you. Um, thank you. I've got one thank thing to say, just for. Just for um, giggles, to crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of the women. I, I, I saw just... that one in the chat. Yeah. That popped up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cheers, we're Paul. Not... It was great. Yeah, we're not related. Cool. We're not related. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll we'll find out in a in a another episode. Right. All so. Right. To everyone, thank you for watching on Twitch. Thank you very much. If you're watching on YouTube and you're watching this next week, a year later, whatever, check out your descriptions below for um, various discounts and, and whatnot that's been going on. Um, to my players here, um, don't switch off just yet. We've got a, we've got a, a wind down. We've got to do some do some little bits uh, offline. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Cheers all. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>